Chapter 31 is the chapter I'm on right now for I get a Ragnarok. I got you. Get it. The sooner the better. Yo. Honestly, Rafa, yo. Muchas gracias for the 10 gifted subs. Appreciate that. Really damn do. We chill. We good. We straight. I think. It's not Friday yet, so we should be good. It should be. Keyword. Should be. How we doing, yo? How we doing? Holy shit. Nice start to the stream. And it's been a minute since we've gone regular Ragnarok. It's been a minute, honestly. But I am feeling better. We are in a better groove, we are in a better mental state right now overall. Tired, but the pain is gone, which is good. I think that's a pretty good thing. Pain kind of fucks your boy up mentally, but back at it again. Now, there is one thing I will say. If you hear any drilling, if you hear any knocking, any banging, there is some work being done in one of the rooms downstairs. So you may hear a lot of this, this, or a lot of like on some straight saw shit, but that's not in my territory. That's not where I am right now. That's in one of the rooms downstairs. So if you hear that, don't worry about that, okay? Everything is fine. I'm not dying. Nothing is exploding. I hope. Hopefully not. So uh, who's banging? There's just some construction work going on downstairs. So that's what's happening right now. So yeah, it is what it is. So... If you don't know, let me remind you guys what's going on right now. We are on, it's been like uh, over two months, I think. Because the last time we got this was in July. Oh, uh, no. You know, it was in July. Yeah, I think it was like early July. Not June. I think it was early July. We got to the last chapter of Record Ragnarok. So it's been a minute. It's been a minute. So song name. Ooh, I got you. This is the Gohan Anger theme, obviously. The 2020 Cinematic Future Bass remix that I found on the tube. So, good stuff. Good stuff. So, soloing when? Um, hopefully, later this week, either on Friday or on Saturday. Because the thing here is that I actually have to get some video content out that I want to get done for YouTube. Uh, so, I actually may put... You know, I probably will push um, 
I probably will push the next uh, anime tonight for tomorrow on Thursday, because I'm working for I'm working on on a Berserk video for tonight from a reaction for chapter 364. Not a, not a reaction, but like my thoughts. My thoughts in the chapter. My thoughts was going on with Berserk. Because at some point, I do want to do a video on the arc right there in, in Berserk. Because uh, this could be the final arc of Berserk, generally speaking. And then... At some point in the future, I do want to have a stream with Berserk readers that I know. And then we could talk about what's going on with Berserk. Uh, maybe get some other guys in there, too. Kind of figure out what... Just talk about Berserk in a general sense, right? But I do want to reread a few things about, about Berserk in a general sense. So that's something that I do want to do at some point in, let's say, like, later this month, next month. Because I do want to read, like, the entire arc of Berserk. So that is coming out. Dritz, you know, I probably will actually, if I'll, I'll contact Dritz. I'll let him know what's what. Um, but that's something I'm trying, I'm trying to work out at this point in time. Because I still want to reread this arc, this latest arc. And then I'll see what I can do about, like, the one, and then once I do that video, then... I'll probably do that stream. So, but that video is coming out later tonight. And then tomorrow I'm getting my One Piece reaction out there. Though, to be fair, because I thought I would have something lined up for an editor for my One Piece reactions. That kind of fell through for the time being, unfortunately. So, uh, I'm still doing it on my own, even though I don't want to. Because uh, I do want to stream more, obviously, clearly. Uh, you guys know my intentions to be more so a streamer rather than an actual YouTuber. Um, though, of course, a mix and match of both, but I'd rather lean towards streaming, clearly. Uh, and then if I have to add some stuff, it's more like touch-ups rather than the us, honestly. But uh, he said this weekend, maybe? This weekend? Who? Me? What? Huh? Hmm? Huh? For what? Yeah, yeah, for, yeah, for soul leveling, yeah, yeah. For soul leveling, either Friday or on Saturday, maybe on Sunday. Though on Sunday, I may go see my mother. So maybe not on Sunday, but I'm gonna try to get to Sullivan as soon as I can. Because next week on Tuesday, I kinda wanna make Tuesday Black Clover Day, if you would, until I catch up, you know? So that was my initial that was my initial plan. So I'm gonna do that. And also I can't forget about Kingdom, aka Wingdom. So we are getting back into our groove, obviously. Don't worry about that. What is going on, on YouTube right now? Why did everything just drop? Oh no, we're fine. Okay, YouTube's thing is fucking up. Okay, not a big deal. Either way. So I'm letting know what's going on right now. And we're going to get back into our groove. All right, the pain is gone. I'm feeling better. I've been eating better. Uh, working on more. Big shits. What would you do? So we're feeling better. Yes, life is uh, life is helping us right now. Because we're helping ourselves. Exacto Mundo. Yeah, One Punch Man 2. I, I don't know how far behind I am on One Punch Man, but I'll get that two apps, apps of fucking Lulee. So there's a lot to get to. So Kingdom, One Punch Man, Solo Leveling. Um, and then after that, we'll get to Black Clover, because Black Clover, we did a lot of Black Clover, like, repeatedly. And then other things were kind of, like, left in the dust. And I still haven't gotten to Bill King, so your boy has been, you know, slacking with the read-throughs. But here we are, which is why, again, tonight's anime tonight will probably be postponed for tomorrow, because I want to get some other videos I need to get to for what because I still want to get back to, like, that daily groove on YouTube. All right, so, well, real quick, where's Matrix? You subscribe to Switch Prime Tier 2. For 29, for 49 months, man, over here, almost 50 months in the row, with a yo, Cole, it's time for the greatness, good shit, I want to get to at least this whole next fight, whatever it's going to be, honestly, Rafa, we got you earlier, you actually did a tier 3 for 9 months, with a yo, and then you dropped 10 and get the subs to the realm, to the mega church of Katakuri, and to the realm of landing, my man, muchas fucking gracias, and then finally, um, uh, Rasta over here, we just got tier 1 for 5 months, Rasta, I appreciate everything I'm do. Bless your fucking heart. We're just gracias. Now, no drop mid king. No, I'm reading it. All right, it's my boy. I'm reading it through and through. Though I and I actually do have Torico videos planned. I do, I do. So I'm getting back into my groove in a general sense because the past few weeks slash month have been off. Never flooding is one thing. The body being all fucked up because I'm obese and uh, we're working on that, but it's, it's, a, um, it's a struggle. It's a struggle, but we're still working on that one. Yeah, I'm so I'm doing some stuff. Either way, let me get to this chapter. These chapters are Record of Ragnarok. Let's get it. Let's get it. So what we're going to do is this. We're going to get Twitch chat over here and get that out of the way. Yep. 
And now you see what I'm reading. So we ended the last... I mean, honestly, the last fight... So ju just to be clear, all right? I had forgotten how great the last fight was between Jack the Ripper and Hercules. That was... I think that is the best fight right now. So if I'm going to rank my fights, I'm going to rank them like this. So far, I'm going to say, number one, Jack the Ripper versus Hercules. Number two, Adam versus Zeus. Number three... Lou Boo versus Thor, and then finally number four, the worst of the bunch, Sasaki Kojiro versus Poseidon. I would rank the fights in that order personally right now. That's what I would personally do. Yes, like a gentleman. Like, oh, like a fucking gent. Oh my god, dude. Just the creativity and the utilization of Jack's abilities uh, were dope as fuck. Dope as fuck. Poseidon is not. Nah, Poseidon versus Saki Kojiro is Saki Kojiro, right? Like the first fight that they won, the human side, that's the worst fight. Lu Bu versus Thor was a pretty good intro to the series as a whole. Adam versus Zeus, I don't care. I mean, that, that, that shit's fucking. Woo! Okay, yeah. So. Throw, no, no, no. I'm, I'm, no. So Saki Kojiro versus uh, Poseidon. Because Poseidon is whatever the fuck. Lubu has a pretty dope backstory, as does Thor. I'll be real with you. Like, the backstory of Saki Kojiro and Poseidon, they weren't that great backstories. Thor's backstory is fucking pretty damn sexy. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, he's studly. He's a beast. And it's mad simple. But fighting the Jotuns, the giants, you have angels guarding the gates to... Freaking Asgard. I'm like, what the fuck? That was dope as shit. And then Lu Bu's story. I mean, sim simplicity is best sometimes. The backstory I thought was pretty damn good. Sasagi's backstory was interesting. Poseidon's backstory was... When it comes to the fight choreography itself, it was not... It was alright. Good, Cool moments, yeah, for sure. But I think I prefer Thor versus Lu Bu in a general sense, honestly. What chapter? Uh, chapter 31 right now. 31. All right, weekdays, I see you too. We subscribe to over 60 months. Says, just want to say, I went to watch episode 100 Black Clover, and outside those tier, those first three minutes, Yami versus Finral, it was all content you have to read. Yeah, but again, I'm not going to risk it. I'm not going to risk it for the biscuit. So, I see what you're saying there, but at the same time, I'm not going to be the type of person to take that risk to maybe risk having even more of being spoiled for me. I don't see the point, because I'd rather read it first. And then, so what you're saying is hopefully correct, but my hatred paranoia is kicking in. So, I'm like, you know what? No, nah, mm. I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to play it safe. When I'm reading this, I'm reading this somewhere. Don't worry about it. Somewhere on the web, all right? Internet, Google. Use Google to help you out. Helps me out a lot. No doubt about that. Either way. But we'll get to episode 100 Black Clover probably next week Wednesday. Because I'm going to read Black Clover again next week Tuesday. So it should be fine. All right, so let's get into it. Oh, yeah. With a, burn, with a burning fire in her heart, Brunhild. And she's walking. Where the fuck is she? Oh, wait. she Yeah, I remember she was crying, had a glass of Hercules and so on and so forth. And then she said at the end of the chapter, last chapter, she said, like, once it's all over, I'm going to join you. So I think Brunhild knows. Manga stream, yo. Yo, could you imagine? If they came back, oh, hell yeah, I'll be there in a second. But Brunhild, she's implying or she's very confident that she's going to die at some, point, at some point in the near future. What up, yo? King of uh, salting. <laughs> At least it's healthy sea salt, I suppose. What up, sir? How you doing? We have, uh, okay, get over here. Sister! Anyway! Right? Something like that. She marches towards the next battle. Okay. Two men unmatched. Will the bond between these two sisters be restored? Um, I'm assuming it will be. Where the fuck are we? What are these hieroglyphs? Are they Egyptian? Isn't one of the fighters like Anubis or something? Oh, no. Oh, you know, but they're not Egyptian, though. No, they're not, but they look odd. Either way, so we have uh, Gerd and Brunhild over here. I I went too far before, I'm sorry. Now I realize that you had your own feelings on the matter, right? I'm sure you did. Gerd, 
Oh, now it's gold. Okay, fucking get. Wait, where am I reading this? Wait, where the fuck am I reading this from? Oh, shit. G-O-L-L -L is now get. Oh, that's gonna be crazy. Pats, you have done nothing wrong. You need to apologize to me. When you're gonna read uh, King and Oscar, I'm gonna read King and Oscar. Let's face, let us face forward for mankind's sake. And then we have Gare <laughs> crying. As usual, Sister Hilda, ever since R uh, Ragnarok started, she's been acting strange, but yes, I'm glad. The score is all tied up now. We've finally caught up to the gods. This might even be our chance to take the lead. Indeed. And that is why we need, we have, we have headed to the chambers of this man. Huh? And we have... Cole gonna have to do a sumo... Let's stop. We have a dragon. Okay, so we're... Oh, my God. Japan again, dude. They just fucking wank themselves. Like, yeah, like the strongest men to exist in humanity's existence. Half of them just so happen to come from Japan. Yeah, this man has Kaido on his door. That's pretty aggressive right there. And the gates open. Oh, no. They don't open. They Oh, they slide. Okay, no, they're sliding doors. Okay, here we go. And there's more sliding doors. And more parts of the dragon. Okay. And then th this is... Mountains of food. Okay, we have a big eat over here. I keep hearing a rumbling noise. Just what is that? Is someone starving right now? Gear, what do you see? Well, what are these? Hey, yo, wait a minute, no. Wait a minute. Oh my goodness. Don't tell me someone was hungry. Don't tell me someone was hungry for more than just sustenance. More than just nutrients. Wait a minute. Oh no, it's Aaron Yeager. Wait a minute. Alright, wait a minute. No, not Aaron Yeager. He gets way too much puss. Wait, what the fuck is all of this? Panties. Clothes. An assortment of all sorts of women of all breeds across all realms. Even demi-humans. We're not biased. This man right here, we have the fourth core member of the interspecies reviewer crew. Oh shit. This man has a big review coming up. It's gonna be at least, at least 50 pages. Jesus! Even the one, one, even Wanda got fucked up, and not from Wanda Vision. We have an angel. We have whatever you are, whatever you are. A mutt. Some kind of lizard woman. Okay, basically, yeah, zero discrimination. Listen, diversity is our strength. This man's stomach just expanded or just shrunk. He's hungry. <sighs> okay, dog. Let's see what you got. What? What am I looking at? Food, sex, sleep, gluttony. It's like he's the incarnation of desire itself. Who is this man? Ah. Uh, the fuck? That's. Four generation Yokozuna. Oh my. Wait, he's too ripped to be Yokozuna. What the hell? Okay. Four generation Yokozuna. Uh, Tani Kaze. A wall of history's Yokozuna. Handprints? So if they. Okay, so the sumo guys eat a lot of food and he is embodying gluttony in all of its forms right here. Sloth, gluttony. Like he's like three of the seven things in one. So if they're to do it sumo, then walks on in. Wake up. 
Wake up. <laughs> Yo! Oh, shit. Are you supposed... Okay, we have some insect... Oh, God, for real. Like, no discrimination whatsoever. We have some insect women, too. A demon, insect women, wherever you are. The dog again. Just, okay, here. <sighs> Fuck. Wake up! Yeah! Runs away. You're up next. Hmm. <sighs> Fuck. Uh. And I just got to sleeping so soundly, too. <laughs> this man, wait. I thought Sumos had guts like these. What the fuck? I thought Sumos had a gut like those. What the fuck is this? He's way too beefcake, man. This man's abs made out of pure steel. So, if you've awoken me, that must mean, Gare. You like to enter my embrace? Oh shit, he has the wrong idea. This man is a fucking sex fiend. And he's going after the wrong goddesses. Yeah! <laughs> of course, Brunhild, no my nigga, stop. Such a cold reaction from such a pretty face. I see your Angelus A who wait, 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 wait. Raiden? What the fuck? Wait, is that correct? Or is that a scuff translation? Um, the guy that I know who's writing has a crazy ass hat, can do electric shit. Is this guy actually right? Wait, there is a nigga named Raiden who was Yokozuna? Really? I see you're as energetic as ever, Raiden. Really? Okay, yeah, Google time. Hold on. Raiden Yokozuna. Let me see this. Oh, he's real. All right, first of all, he's not true to form. I don't care what no one says. Yeah. Listen, I mean, I get that Japan wants to... I get that Japan wants to wank themselves off. I get this, but, I mean, there, there's no way. I mean, this guy is just way too fucking... Like, you see these nips, son? What the fuck? Nah, that's Cap. That's Cap. This man has rolls. I'm not too sure. Yeah, I'm willing to bet that this right here isn't complete. Yeah, yeah. I mean. <laughs> That's not his real photo. Let me see this real quick. Something went horribly wrong in this depiction of him. Wait, so how old is he then? Or like, how old is this man's legend? Hey, yo, that's Cap. Nah, what the fuck? Okay, where am I? We're, no, what the, wait, what the fuck is this? Wait, what? All right. I'm on some Bigfoot shit. Let me get out of here, boys. <laughs> I'm on some Bigfoot shit, yeah. I need to stop. We've got way too far. We've got way too far. It's a movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know. I know. But whatever. All right. I think we're too far. Let's just back the fuck up. Let's just get back. <laughs> Let's just get back. All right. So he's from the 1700s. Okay. That's why. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. I thought he was student then. All right. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, that had me scared for a second. Okay, there's... Okay, fuck, here we go. One last thing. There's a statue of this guy, and the statue's... Oh, man, that's so weird. Okay, one last thing. And that problems are done. So, 
His neck game is like really it, it, it's it's dog shit. His neck game is fucking horrible. But I guess as a sumo wrestler, having your fucking face palmed in so many times, having a neck like that is actually a plus. You're more condensed. Hard to kind of throw around. He's more like compacted. He's more stocky. Yeah. Yo, what do you mean? Nigga. My neck game is the... I'm a football player, my boy. Well, obviously I was. My neck is thick, meaty, strong, built to last. Duralast? Fuck yeah. What are you talking about? Let's go. What? <laughs> So let's get off of Jean Bay real quick, and let's get to back to the chapter. So, gets palmed. Such a cold reaction from such a pretty face. Let's see, engine did right, right in. Uh, the, this massive pervert is so. Handprint, hand. Okay, his fingers are five times the length of Michael Jordan's. It's kind of crazy. And then get huh? His hands massive. Who's the beauty that's going to couple with me? Is it you? No. There is one more fitting for a man like you. Though it will be for Voun, not sex. Fair enough. All right. That, that, that's a name, right? Is that a P? Wait, what? Oh, no. Should I do a click? Like... Rude? Throod. Prodier. Wait. This man said Throod or Thrud. You're saying Prodier. Wait, is it T H R U D or T H U R D? Oh fuck! All right, Google. Okay, I think it's T H U T H R U D. It's actually spelled like that. What the fuck is this? Oh no! Pronouncenames.com. Let's go. Help a nigga out. What? Thrud. Okay. Thrud. I'm not stalling. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck his name is. Thrud. So we have Thrud over here. Huh? Right here. She's fucking massive. Hey, lady killer. Your partner will be me. Oh, no. Of course. Of course, there's always someone bigger. She looks like a third. Oh, my God. Oh, no. That's all fucking... Even the thighs. Her thighs are bigger than this man right here. Throod. Oh, ew. Yo, she's too much, woman. She's She-Hulk personified. Like, Hulk sees that. Hulk says, Hulk no smash. Whoa, Hulk no smash. Ew. Retreat, nigga. Shit. Is she all green? Duh. Mm -hmm. You disappointed to see a monster like me? Of course. Third, third of the sister... Oh, fuck it, shit. Third of the Valkyrie sisters through. Of course. This man... Listen, disappointed. This man is fucking dogs. Like, he's a furry. One of the... <laughs> he's a zoo crew member. <laughs> he's not biased. Nice! <gasps> ah! Wait, what's the nice sticky? Some bullshit like that? <laughs> this motherfucker, yo. <laughs> he's naked, yo. Oh my god. Oh, you're so nice. Oh, my. Chad, listen. 
I think we have to listen. The whole dynamic of Chad and Barbie is, is right now flipped on its head. The Barbie is the one hugging. The Chad is the one surprised. Based on physique and physique alone. <laughs> Gary's like, what? Run hill. Uh. And then third over here. Uh, okay. mm. I prefer large women, you know. I mean, that's... Come on! What is this? <laughs> Quite a smooth talker, aren't you? That's enough of your jokes. He <laughs> just said, I prefer larger women, you know. I think he means the chest, too. Because those things can barely fit in there. Holy fuck. Oh, he's... Whoa! Hold up. She tried to get him off, and this man's, oh no, assault? Wait a minute. This man's heavenly grasp right here. Yeah. He's not letting go. <laughs> no! Oh shit, the heavenly clutches, no, no restraint. I am always serious. Can you assault a goddess? I don't think you can. I mean, technically, because she's a goddess and you're a human, she always has the power position. Always. So even though he's like a world famous, like, Yokozuna, Axe Zeus, I mean, listen, Zeus, he is the ruler of the cosmos. Things like assault don't apply to him. He just does things and it works. He has that God-given right, unironically. That's how Zeus rolls. Does the lion ask first? No, he just mounts. Of course, Twitch, I'm, this is a fictional series, not an IRL. Now, I am always serious. When was the last time a man told her that? Deity or no? Because she came off the gate like, yo, I'm a monster, right? Like, no, I like big women. Get off me. Just fucking stop. Let me fucking follow your tits for a second. I'm always serious. Stop the bullshit. You know you want this. Heart. So pure. Guess <laughs> like, what the fuck is happening? So pure. He's gone and turned my mighty sister through its face. Oh, now it's a T-H-R-U, okay, face. And then I have a pure maidens. You fool. I get that a lot. <laughs> Just be a Chad, don't let go, and you'll see success. Now, granted, I would not really get rid of this that in real life. I definitely would not. I definitely would not. But it looks like for the Volun, the synergy is going to be on point. Now, come. Shall we become one? <laughs> Fuck! No! Ballooned! Fuck, of course. Oh, shit. They have the sumo, the thing. What's it called? The thing right here. Okay, they have a robot. Okay, fair enough. Let's see. He actually came out and... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Hemdall is ready! This time around, of course. Yo, of course, for the Japanese action, we have to be at our utmost. At our most traditional. Of course we have to be. At what point do we not read a manga to where the Japanese aren't the center of the fucking multiverse? Not just the universe. Not just the freaking solar system. The multiverse. Everything is Japan. All tied up. The fifth battle of Ragnarok opens with an even split. Neither humanity nor the gods can afford to lose this round. Let's begin. Unveiling. Unveiling. Halos. That's creative as fuck. Two halos. The names on... Wait, are they the same name? Maybe they are. I'm not too sure. And then we have the Yokozuna... Do you recall back in Wano when they have that One Piece? And then 
We thought that it was like floating. Like what was going on there exactly? Well, this is actually floating. Actually floating. Ooh, nice fucking arena right here. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, isn't this the style of a Japanese sumo arena? It's a little off though. No shit. Hey, hey, hey that's... What? What are they doing? Valkyrie Sal... Maki? 10,000 years granted housing in Valhalla. Guaranteed housing in Valhalla. 10,000 years guaranteed housing in Valhalla. Biscuit restaurant. What the fuck is the advertisements? Why? What the fuck is going on here? I mean, this is a great promo, but why? Those are sumo Kensho banners. But there's really something. Yeah, this guy's like, but there's something really, really off about all this. Yeah. They're because they're doing this shit like it's a goddamn boxing ring. Wait, do they actually have this shit in um sumo rings? Like they have the girls walk around that have like no, right? Yes? But the guy's saying there's something off though. So I'm assuming that there's something wrong. Like I'm assuming like, the ad should be like this, right? Okay, I mean that's my assumption. I'm not too sure. Okay, hem down. Now, it is time. Yeah, like boxing. Representing humanity in the eastern corner. Oh, a fitting in the eastern corner. The east is burning red, Domo. Is this man? Yoko fucking Zuna are lined up. Born in the land of the rising sun. One of the greatest combat sports known to man. Four generation Yokozuna. Uh, okay, so we got these earlier. Here they are. And then just other sumos. Sumo. In all 2,000 years, China has 4,000 years. FYI. Four. More than double the amount that you guys have for sumo. Just FYI. FYI, in all 2,000 years of sports history, stomp. <sighs> Yosho! None would deny that one man stood above the rest. Yosho! I thought it was Doskoi. Either way, Yosho! Doom! Harate, oh, Harate, 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 Harate is one of those. Harate, Teppo, Kanuki. Okay, there's this. <laughs> in the ass, Kaido! Big guys with guts, doing sumo poses. Sabori. His sheer strength caused officials to ban him from using his favorite techniques. And yet, he retained his title of the strongest. He continued to win and win and win ever more. Splendid from his... Oh no. Wait a minute. Something Dorsey. Latis... Latissimus Dorsey to his gluteus maximus. The following of... The flow of his muscles are truly a sight to behold. Hmm, I love to, who the hell? Hmm, I love to dissect that man. Sugita Genpaku. And this guy is drawing his ass. But it's not gay. Katsushika Hokusai. Yes, I think I get that, okay. The man that reigned as the Rink's emperor for over 20 years was named as such by the populace. Stomp. A peerless Rikishi. Which I think means yo something to do with like, like the top sumo guy, Yokozuna something. Rikishi. Something like that. His name is... Raiden! Oh my god. And this guy. Hmm. And this guy keeps on drawing. Raiden Tame 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 Mon Tame Emon. Okay, there you go. Raiden Tame Emon. Raiden Tame Emon. Holy shit, dude! What the fuck? 
why does this guy have like bleach blute vein all across his gut? What are these, dude? Oh, and no, that's probably fucking what's her face? Thrud. That's probably her fucking volume across this man's body. Yeah, peak muscles, armbands, fucking goddamn. Oh, Jesus Christ. Tame Amon. Fifth representative for humanity. And this man. <laughs> Hell yeah. Right in Tame Amon, Japanese. Yes, we've waited for this. Oh, the Japanese guys, they knew. They fucking knew that he'd be actually among the top of humanity. That'll show the judges, uh, that'll show the judges that, uh, shun him. You're so cool, Raiden. History's greatest wrestler. Um, I mean, I know he's not, you know, deceased, thank God for that. But, in 50 years, when they do a regular Ragnarok Part 2, I think we should place this guy for Undertaker, I'm just saying. Go toss around, a, go toss around a god this time. Guess we'll guess we got a full house. No matter the age, everyone just loves this stuff, right? Uh, I I guess so. Hemdall, low. And then Hemdall and Ryan just chilling. The man so nonchalant, and so on. We've even uh, we've uh, we've even the score. We have to win this one. Yeah, who will the gods send? And now standing against the peerless Rikishi. And, represent, and representing the gods in the western corner. Hello. What is this? No, what? What, what? what is this shaking? The rumble. This, is this man? Is that an elephant trunk? Oh, fuck. Here comes. Is this a Hindu god? Oh, it's probably. We have elephants. We have a mord of elephants. This man had some bullshit Yokozunas. Actually, unironically, elephants. After creating the world on a whim, he also destroyed it. He also destroyed it on another. Wait a minute. The guys are mad hyped. Yeah! Wait, is this fucking Shiva? After creation comes destruction, after destruction comes rebirth. Could it not be said that the world is this man's plaything? Oh, it's fucking shit, dude. Oh, shit. What is it that you desire? N no! That. It's that god! Oh, oh, fuck! Wait! No, the bird is the hit! No, no, wait! Oh, ah! Ask this god. For any boon you want. Oh, fuck, yo. Oh, Nami Dabi Shiva. Oh, Nami Nami Shiva. Umo Gwe Gwai Saidi Fo. Umo Gwe Gwai Saidi Fo. Umo Gwe Gwai Saidi Fo. Like, oh, shit. They got mega spooked. Like, oh, fuck. It's the one. There is no use in arguing, no point in reasoning. Those who do not interest him receive nothing more than destruction. Fuck. They know. The third eye. The pose. Ban from, in the, in the anime, ban from the seven deadly sins, Shiva. Oh, fuck. He's do grabbing his leg, doing weird ass fucking muscle pose, four arms, tongue out, pose. Destroyer of worlds. This man took one step, and there's a <laughs> giant shockwave. It's finally my turn, eh? Yeah, okay, so the Greeks aren't gonna do. <laughs> the Greeks aren't trying to go for a four P now. Oh, who would have thought? <laughs> From Zeus to Poseidon to Hercules. Yo, goddamn Greeks, what the fuck? <laughs> Finally, the Hindu gods arrive. And now, this right here is the reason why it was banned from India. Because obviously, they don't want Shiva to be represented in this fashion, clearly. Time for me to destroy Shiva, Hindu, and their Shiva. Yokozuna. 
the fifth match of Ragnarok. Which one will be crushed first? Shiva versus Raiden. Taemon begins now. Next chapter. Holy fuck. All right. So, wait. The quality just changed. What the fuck? So, we have the thing right here. Shiva, you can do it. Hold on. What now? Wait. The quality just changed. Give me a second. Let me see here. Let me see if I can't find a better version. Record of Ragnarok manga.com. This one's full of ads right here. Let me see. Uh, okay, this one. Oh my God! There's just ad tasted right here. Jesus Christ! A rain scans. Let me see this one quick. Okay, actually, I'm out there. Let me see this one. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, this place again. Oh. Oh. By the way, the banging, once again, they're doing some construction work, so do not, you know, don't worry. Okay, let me see it arrange scans again. Because I remember last night I had a problem here where it was loading so fucking slowly. So waiting for my man, Ra, uh -huh. Ra? They have a new, it's not Raw. Yeah, like this site is mad slow. This site's really fucking slow. Click the eye. Yeah, it won't let me load the view mode at all. It just, it just, it just slow. Okay, let's see here. If only for one stream. Eh. Okay. So I'm going to go back over here. But this site has fucking ads of the damn dick hole. Oh, no. Oh, gee. Uh, oh. Because the quality kind of. Actually, does the quality drop universally? I'm going to go crazy here. Oh, no. Whoa, okay. You know what? Wow. I just have to be patient. What the fuck? Actually, that's a pretty good quality. Oh, fuck. All right, you know what? Arrange scans. Slow and steady. You know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck. I was the rabbit, and I should have been the turtle. Hold up. Wait a minute. Okay, it takes longer. True. But the quality is... Superfluous. Okay. You know, I have an ad block. I do. But it, it's, it's still... The quality is still much better here. So I'm going to go, okay. Here, 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 here we go. If I don't, let me... Let me, let me five-head Let me five-head this right now. Let me get the next chapter loaded up. And then so by the time we're done with this chapter, we'll get the next chapter out and about. Yeah. Let me five head this shit. Yeah, fuck yeah. Perfect. Okay, so. Okay, so. The almighty God Destruction versus the unrivaled Rikishi. The fifth battle starts now. First exchange. Regular Ragnarok Shiva. Hit him with all our rage right now. We have a but oh wait, time out. Is that the fucking Hindu pantheon? Wait, do you even call them a pantheon? I guess so. Is that the Hindu pantheon? I think, is that Hanuman? Because I think that's Hanuman, like the monkey god. I think it is. I think we have a bunch of Hindu deities. Now, like, hit him with all our rage, Shiva. Let him know what's what. Let him know. 
Dear, do your best. Lord Shiva, good luck. Okay, so we have uh, Parvati, she was special wife. And then we have uh, Kali, she was second consort. Okay, consort, I should say. And we have a humph. Who is this? Who are you? Shiva's cheerleading squad. That human won't last a single strike against Lord Shiva. Uh, Dorga, I think. She was third consort. Okay. We have uh, Papa. Is this the god of destruction? Fucking goddamn, what's his name? The elephant one? Um, uh, universe. Uh, universe 10? Universe 10? What his name is? I forgot his name, yo. That motherfucker. Good luck! <laughs> yo, who's the motherfucker from Diddy Kong Racing? <laughs> he rides the carpet. Diddy! <laughs> yo, this motherfucker! Yo! Yo, I can't, dude! It's him! This is Diddy Kong Racing! Holy shit! Yo, that's <laughs> he's back! Yo! <laughs> Ganesh? Is that his name? Ganesh? Holy shit. Yeah, right here. So, uh, Ganesh over here. She was. Oh, that's his son. She was son. God of fortune. The cheerleading squad. Oh, fuck yeah. The Hindu cheerleading squad is fucking off the charts. Go for it! <laughs> Damn, look at my fucking boys. Ready for Annihilation? This is odd. So we have all of this Hindu stuff, which is all nice and good. But then the entire thing is still modeled after, you know. Okay, perfect. Dope. That's the next chapter. Okay, well, I'm not... Wow, it's slightly slow. All right. Frog. Salt. Huh? Uh. Wait a second. The hell's that? He I'm sorry. I'll be done in a second. That's salt, right? Or what do they do? Like the powder. Yeah. Oh, damn. That all work. Whoa. Whoa. Wait. Frogs can't touch salt, right? Because that winds up branding them or some bullshit like that? I don't know. But either way. Boom. Oh, he's about no. He's not about. Get the fuck out of here. We're not about LeBron's James. This shit. Salt. One of your rituals, eh? Can't be helped then. Of course. And then he throws the salt up in the wind. And what the fuck is going on over here? There's ruins. Is isn't that, wait, isn't that where Zeus was and Zeus got fucking mad as fuck? You know, okay, no, that's where Zeus was when he got mad as fuck. And Hermes is right there just chilling. Yeah, 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 he's trying to run for it. exactly yeah. And Hermes just chilling, hands on his back. Hmm. Watching on. On Loki too. Uh Dear Ares. Has yet to return from his bathroom break, huh? I doubt his tears have let, uh, okay. I doubt his tears have yet to let up. I see. Then in that case, I'll go for a walk too. Hmm. I could go for a nap too. Do they have that much confidence in Shiva? You have to wonder. They're all tied up. Humanity has some strong motherfuckers. You already fought, Zeus. You can't fight again. Loki's gonna fight later on, though. Oh, shit. So, it looks like... Them being tied up... And... A stud. The hockey. They're flexing some conquerors hockey. Both these fuckers right here. Their Ayats levels have just spiked. But Zeus can't fight anymore. We're done. Good grief. They're all... Such liars, aren't they? To think I get to see you right in sumo again. This is my first time in person. I'm so excited. Behold, Raiden, the greatest in all Japan. 
Okay, not LeBron. Damn, that clap. Not LeBron James style, but still. Shockwave of his own. Woo! <laughs> Look at that. So wonderful, the Japanese. Oh my god, yeah, hell yeah. He's so cool. And then we have just the Steve Imanini on his gear second shit. The seat in from his fists, the toes, grabbing the floor. Sorry to keep you waiting. Heh, <laughs> all good. Unrivaled, eh? Guess we can have a bit of fun then. Good shit. That's so. Muscles activating. Very well. He's getting in the stance. Shiva. What's the play here? He's getting... Do those toes! He's getting the stance! Wanna go? Beeline charge. Oh my god, that form, yo. What the fuck, dude? Ew. Damn, son. That fucking bull charge right there. Oh no, Shiva. What are you gonna do about this one, son? The first strike of the mightiest Rikishi. Huh? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, yo. Hold on. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Sumo. Right? Since when did sumo allow for aerial combat involving drop kicks from thighs that look like tree lumber logs? No, it's not sumo. Ancient sumo? I don't give a fuck. Ancient sumo? Can, no. Hell no. I don't get No. If ancient sumo was this, this some gladiator shit. Basically. It's gladiators wearing, wearing undies. No hottie tay. Like all that shit we went through. About the sumo hottie tay. The sumo throw and all that bullshit. The man is going for a fucking drop kick. You know what? In heaven, he's been watching some American wrestling. There we go. There we go. He's seen... The magnificent AJ Styles. This man has been watching some modern day wrestling. He's like, you know what? Our shit is really fucking trash. Our shit is pretty damn low tier. It's time, my nigga. It's time. <laughs> Yo! Damn! That impact. That impact was not one of the sumo techniques. Dude, this man has toes to the face. And it's not good. It's not a fetish. It's all pain. It's all brutal fucking... Actually, wait, hold on. Time out. Is it, though? Well, okay. If my assumption is correct and... Uh, Throod is these tattoos on him, then I guess his whole body can actually hurt God. Maybe. <laughs> Was not a sumo technique, but a flying drop kick. <laughs> Shiva! <laughs> what? Hit! It's a hit! It's a direct hit! Raiden's leading move exploded towards... Yeah, Raiden's leading move explodes towards Shiva. The... That's... Sumo? And the Japanese people. No, 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 no. That's not Sumo at all. Like, what? Like, the other races in the crowd... No, or like the gods and other races. Like, wait, what the fuck is that? That's a Sumo, right? And they're like, no, 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 wait, 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 no, 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 it's not sumo. We don't know what that is. That's that's some weird ass shit. Hermes, hmm. They've sent such a bold human against that Shiva. Have your tears finally stopped? Humph. Like I like I would ever cry, of course. Why is Ares so trash in this one, yo? Fuck. So Ares. <laughs> okay, but either way, Ares was a stud. My apologies. Dropkick gets him flying. Shiva grabs onto the ground, 
kicks back up, reverses, boom. Whoa! Momentum! Oh! Even when he fucking recovered, the momentum was... Oh, shit! Oh, whoa! Whoa! Oh, I felt that! Looks like it was worth the wait then. Shit. Shiva? <laughs> this man is about to do some dumbass shit. This man is about to do like almost no sumo. These thighs are disgustingly huge, FYI. They are absolutely gross. And this man is coming for an uppercut or a jab with the right. Who knows? No. He, okay. He genuinely went for a punch to the midsection, and then Shiva blocks that with one of his right arms. And then Shiva... <laughs> underestimating me, huh? Yeah. Is that a fucking lariat? Is this man about to do a clothesline from hell? With a diaper on? No, he just fucking punches him, yo. <laughs> <laughs> that wind up. Right in sends a mighty Russian hook. And it connects. A oh, Russian hook. Is that what that is? Oh, fuck. And then Shiva. Oh, shit. Bastard. Huh? No. With this, you're done. Knee! That's a Muay Thai knee! Oh no. What the fuck are we talking? Mm. Mm. Alright. Raiden's kind of dumb. Though, here's my guess. My guess. My guess. Is that. He's only going to start using his sumo techniques when he takes the fight, like, super seriously. That's my guess. Like, once she will start popping off, then we're going to see the true sumo come out. Rhino is just fucking around. Damn. What happened to the cheerleading squad? Uh-oh. What happened to India's finest? Like, what? No way. Huh? Right. Now, this... He has forms for a reason. And then he just comp oh <clears throat> blows away his arms. Now grabs him again. Hey! And then uses his other arms to go right for the midsection. Actually kicks up right in. Is how a brawl should be. A, a judo throwing four arms. Shiva counters a death situation with an unexpected reversal. Yeah! Oh, the chilling squad. Oh my god, Shiva! And then actually lets go of him? Does a tusk, and then he actually spins and contorts in midair, and then lands. Wow. Damn it. I thought I had you there. So did I. You bastard. Guess it won't be that easy. Man, you're great. Interesting guy. You got some spirit. <sighs> Yo, this man, he looks like a fucking Torgo character. What is this? Like, honest to God, I'm expecting a kooky punch really soon. Like, just... I'm expecting, like, at least a four or five red kooky punch. What a pain in the ass. The... This beginning exchange leaves us with no clue of what's next. A battle of martial arts between humanity and the gods. Now this is Ragnarok. Yeah, so that's the World Strong Destroyer in action. But Raiden is pretty good. But Raiden's a pretty good wrestler too. Raiden, you're so cool. See that, gods? That's the four band Raiden for you. Four band. No, four band refers to the four techniques banned during Raiden's. Wait, what? The four techniques that are banned during Raiden's reign. Uh, Harate, Teppo, uh, Kanuki, and then uh, Sabaori. Okay, the four banned Raiden. 
<laughs> it's actually known. What is this? Damn it. We're damn that uh, Taro Kichi is just as much as ever. D uh, don't you reckon, uh, Onogawa? He's right it now. Taro Kichi was actually his name before. Four generation. Uh, wait, these wait these guys again. Four generation y y Yokozuna, um, uh, Tani Kaze, blah blah. Uh, fifth generation Yokozuna, um, uh, Onogawa. Okay, fair enough. Uh, and then we have uh, we have good more. Really, this man is actually doing this all by hand. Good, more, more, and more. And we have a uh, Katsu Shika Hokusai. Give me more! Go right in! Lord Shiva! So we have a guy wearing Crocs, Lollipop. Uh, four kids dub Sanji. Where are we going? Loki? Yo. I was waiting for you. My dear Buddha, banned in the entire Eastern Hemisphere of the world, except for Japan and South Korea. Okay. Is that Usa Chan or is that USA Chan? I'm assuming it's Usa Chan because you have the bunny and then you have the fucking X. Gautum Buddha, Buddhism, of course. So you want to try? A brawl, that is. What the fuck is happening here? Why are Buddha and Loki, what? Nice, nice, nice. How about we dance until we die? Eh, jeez, every single one of you. Why is it that everyone loves this stuff? Huh? Why? What other reason would there be? It's just so much fun. Like, like I know any man that doesn't... Okay, like... Okay, here we go. So, we, wait. so all of a sudden now, we're starting to get a little bit of Raiden's character. What's going on here? Like, I know any man that doesn't enjoy a good fist fight. That's so. Sorry to uh, rail on your parade. But do you mind if I let loose now? Full throttle. Here comes the fucking sumo. The aura is surging. The eyes, Kuroko basketball style. He's in the zone. The sportsman is now in the zone. And it's time to begin the brawl. Okay, that's a good start. That's a very good start. Next chapter. And it loaded just fine. So let me... Hmm. I guess, I, yeah, I guess I gotta do it like this. 34. Oh, and as I do that real quick, let me run an ad because I love you guys, obviously. And then also let me check some drops real quick. <laughs> but I love you guys. So real quick, let's run an ad. And some drops real quick. We have... Uh Debo, we subscribe to over eight months, says, Why read when you can watch the quality Wreck-It-A-Ragnarok anime? You have a good point there. 
I'll do that on stream for Patreon. Shale here, three bucks, says, hey man, uh, I don't know who you are, just seem like a genuine guy, and I hope you have a good stream and a great day. Wow. Much love for the random dono, if that's actually true. I appreciate coming through. It means a lot. Thank you very much. Much love, dude. For real, much love. I mean, if, I, if, if you're still around, if you are a weeb, enjoy the show. Enjoy the stream. Shit. If not, peace the fuck out. Shit. Who would have thought that someone is so generous where they come to random stream and talk to Oh, my God. Mm. Shit. All right. Shit. Rich, we subscribe to Twitch for says, let's go. Uh, Buddha Chan. Fuck. Uh, Chaos Yulian, we subscribe to for 24 months, says, only Raiden can handle that much woman. More power to him. I mean, apparently, she ain't no scrub. Thomas uh, Azrael, two bucks, says, would you rather have Raiden's game for and all, or Shiva's wives. Wow. Fur and all? <sighs> Fur and all. There is some yin in the sea of yang. What's a little darkness in the sea of everlasting light that is Raiden? So, yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> oh, yeah, the fur is darkness. Make no mistake. The fur is darkness. Absolutely. Aokiji, we subscribe to over 29 months with a yeah. Appreciate that real damn dude. Why are we clipping shit? Stop the cat. If this is right in through and through in all of his glory, she huh? This these scans are actually pretty fucking damn good. Really, huh? Author and everything. New chapter title right here. Damn, that's the whole fucking King Boodle. Pussy's pussy. Nah, it's cat. One on Switch's day in January 1767 within the province of uh, Shinano. Stop, Greater Cloud. Thank you, Ron. Within the province of the uh, Shinano, something inhuman was brought into this world. What do you mean? Um, uh, Oshi Village, Chisagata District, and the Shinano. Okay, we have 100 gates. Just, na just how was the almighty Rikishi Raiden born? Awesome Sinbad shit right here. In this small village lives a small family who have stumbled upon strange circumstances. And then we have a oh, woman and a man. Well built. This couple is two of Oshi's villagers, villagers farmers. Uh, Han, uh, Hanemon and his wife Kenga. And what they are looking at is their son. Taro Kichi. What the fuck is going on? Hey, stop. No updates, please. What the fuck? Currently two years and eight months of age. He's about to... Okay, okay. He's about to become three. And he isn't... And he ain't even standing yet. What? Normally, he'd be walking by one. What should we do about this? Uh, Taro Kichi, I pray you grow to become strong. His eyes had that from the jump? The strange things on the side of his eyes? Really? Those markings? <laughs> Little Ash Ketchum? And one week later, we're home. You'll see hungry, Taro Kichi. I'll get right to, huh? Ah, and so the boy stands, and his legend begins. Oh, d d dear, Tarokichi is standing. Oh, wait, that has those things in his eyes, too. Oh, okay. Good job, Tarokichi. M mama And then, uh, what the fuck happened to his goddamn feet?
What the fuck? Bit down so hard, his teeth just fucking cracked and fell. Taroki, after having stand, what the fuck? Tarokichi, after having stood stood up for the first time in his life, Tarokichi, huh? His legs, his arms, and his rib cage, all fractured. Were his bones just weak? Nay. Stop. <laughs> no way. No way. What is this? So you're telling me that this kid was born like Ronnie Coleman in his prime. You're telling me that off the gate, this kid would have been entering in the world's strongest man competition? Like, he would have been pulling trucks and shit like that off the gate. His bones were just weak. Nay! His muscles were so strong that they pulverized the very bones they encased. At any rate, he would be crushed to death by his own muscles. And yet, the key to changing that fate of his... What the fuck? Fuck. Also lay within those very muscles. This kid is wrapped up super safe. What is this? His whole body is covered in fucking... What? He's a child. Oh, that's fucking crazy, dude. Actually, Tyler won. In both muscle and in height. Very important, the latter one. Absolutely. Those very muscles. And so, Tarokichi's body was forged. Just grabbing the wood. <sighs> to seal those raging muscles. One could say, he formed new muscles. <laughs> Stop! Stacking muscles. Ultimate muscle. He formed new muscles and created a shell within himself. Otherwise known as. What the fuck does that even say? The Hundred Gates. I mean, fuck. My guy and Rock just have eight. He has a hundred. This man was born to rumble. This man was born... Aaron, oh shit. The hundred gates. New final form? I can't go that form. You know why? Because I can't shrink. And God, I went out to shrink. I would... Oof. Oof. Have this muscle even be that high? Oh, never. But this height? Oh, fuck him. Mind if I let loose now? Huh? Here comes the sumo. Open palm strike. Shiva, you better dodge. And then we have... Huh? He hits himself. Huh? What? Boom. He's unsealing the gates. And now we see the markings on his... Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Yeah, Darko is absolutely sweating. Hold on. What the fuck is this? Is he doing, like, this fucking Naruto fox sealing shit? And then he just... Release! Oh, fuck. Huh? Gah! Oh, oh, oh. 
5'11", six fucking feet, yo. Shit. A galaxy of difference. A galaxy of difference in one inch. What? This man's forearm is 5'11". Holy fuck. He looks like Mansum, dude. Like he undid some fucking knocking on his body and he just came, he like, he mutated. Holy shit, hey yo. <laughs> the mutant genome in this kid is so powerful, even Magneto can't control his ass. Like, yo, this kid's not, nah, he's too much, yo. He's way too much. The juggernaut bitch? Oh, shit. Juggernaut bod. Yeah, L Lord Raiden, F fascinating. Those muscles, genius. Togoro, Togoro, a rampage across his form. Raiden is about to be crushed. Hey now, don't go self-destructing on me here. I'm counting on you. Oh fuck. He undid the f oh fuck. In comes oh fuck. In comes his new squeeze through oh shit yo Hey yo here's wifey I got you sweetie The fucking blue vein start to activate. They're condensing the they're condensing the power of the legendary Super Saiyan. Oh, that, that's indeed. That is complete control over the very muscles that threaten to end his life. That is the true form of the greatest Rikishi. Raiden Tame... Uh, his name is ridiculous. Tame Amon's Volund. A mawashi of flesh and bone. A mawashi. Man, his own body? See? Raiden was born with an abnormal muscle structure. So he was forced to develop a... So he was forced to develop the 100 gates to set off muscles that would seal his strength of the others. As a result, he barely managed to regain equilibrium within his own skeleton. Eh? Wait a second. So that means... He managed to become the history. Yeah, he managed to become history's greatest Rikishi, whilst also actively suppressing his own strength. And now his volume has been unleashed, releasing him from releasing him from his shackles. In other words, in all human off oh, a fucking course, in all human history, the man with the greatest muscles. So he took like a bunch of those horse pills that you take to fight against COVID, quote. And the results of those horse pills were a Japanese man attaining the greatest muscles in the human history. That's kind of fucking crazy. Will now for the first time in his life fight at full strength. Looks like we finally come to an arrangement. Damn muscles of mine. Or to an agreement, I should say. To an agreement. Damn muscles of mine. So this is what it feels like to go full throttle. The man is fucking glistening. The steam. The blue vein. 100 gates released. Well, I gotta warn you. Don't go breaking down on me now, bud. Huh? So you wanna. Okay, now back to Buddha and Loki. So you wanna try a brawl? Mm -mm. Me? No, no. Let me see. 
I simply want to ask you something. Now, this is the first time. Now, now this is the first. Hold on, now, this is the first I've seen the Valkyrie Girls Volun C2. Uh, 2C. Wait, whoa, whoa. What the fuck am I saying right now? Hold on. Let me. Wait. Okay. Let's slow it down. Now, this is the first I've seen the Valkyrie Girls Volun 2. See? And they've just fascinated me. You know? Yep, yep. And then Buddha. Ugh. But then I got to thinking. Actually, something's bothering me ever since the first bout. I mean, come on. They can stop the full might of a god, drive other gods into a corner, not to mention even end a god's life. So I've been wondering if those girls' wounds always held that much power, right? And then Buddha still sucking on the fucking lollipop. And at the end of the day, I can't imagine any god giving those demigods such a cheat. Mm -hmm. And then it hit me. That there was one way it could have happened. What do you call it again, my dear Buddha? Remember, you had something called the pure land, right? The pure land, what? And by entrusting ones fated to another, they can draw out the limits of their power. If I recall correctly, that power is called... Devotion. Interesting. The pure land. Okay, I'm not too familiar with, Buddh with Buddhism at all, so... And trust the ones uh, devotion. No, devotion here refers to the specific Buddhist definition, wherein giving is done for both the benefit of another and oneself. See Wikipedia Buddhist devotion. What the fuck? Enlightenment. That makes more sense to me. Meaning that their volund isn't just for. Uh, well, I don't isn't just forge weapons of divinity, but enabling them to fight amongst, against the gods by entrusting their lives to their wielder. Now, to be fair, in the case of Jack, Jack, he kind of forced her into it. It was like he submitted her. It was a bit weird in Jack's case with that one Valkyrie. I forgot her name. But yeah, like, there, I'm like, yeah. Like, Jack was a bit different. Like, I don't think she fully entrusted herself to Jack. Jack just fucking made the bitch submit. I just get the feeling that's the only way. Uh, sorry, ended up lecturing you there. So what do you think? Hmm. What do I think? I still don't get it. What you want to ask me? Actually, it was so long that I wasn't even listening. Oh, okay, what happened? Buddha, what the fuck? Jack read emotions with his eyes. They synced up. Yeah, they. That, okay, fair, I suppose. But full devotion? I don't know. The, but yeah, they did sync up true. Now, Buddha apparently not a patient person. Give me the TLDR, please. Because I lost interest a long time ago. Uh. <laughs> Sorry about that. Go riding, Gord, Lord Shiva. Seems like things are getting pretty heat over there. I want to get back to watching. So I'm going to ask you straight. Are you a traitor? Buddha. Loki, what the fuck, nigga? Back down. Buddha is well above your pay grade. Buddha. <laughs> what if I am? I'll kill you. <laughs> The fucking goat eyes and some demon shit right here. And Buddha couldn't give three shits. Like, what if I am, nigga? What if I can do about it, son? Yeah. Oh, we clash! Oh, we clash hockey! Oh, no! 
Bring it on, bitch! You're a mere Norse god. I'm fucking Buddha, yo. What the fuck? Are you serious? V Buddha. I run this shit. Who the fuck are you? Loki, I ain't backing down, yo. Damn, we flexing hockey. Okay, chicken. I don't know where. So, Buddha staring down Loki. Face off, chicken. After a long night, awakening from a deep sleep. Translator, no. This is the closest I can... Okay, this is closest I can find the translation for the plan to... Uh, what? Okay, whatever. I seem to hear the sweet sound of a boat sailing through the waves. I... We've lost the plot. We've lost the plot. Divine retribution. Divine retribution. Divine retribution. Oh, what the fuck? Divine. Oh, no. What the fuck is going on here? Are these all. Sh Wait, are these Shinto gods? To the traitor, we judge. Divine retrib... What the fuck is this? How the fuck are the Shinto gods trying to roll on in on Buddha and Loki? Divine retribution. Daikoku Ten. Juro Jin. Divine retribution. Fuku Rokuju. Oh no! Oh no! Welcome to the family, son. The fucking oh, the god of fortune. Divine retribution. Divine retribution. Hote. Fuck. Ibisu. Divine retribution. Ben Zaiten. Divine retribution of the heart. Divine, yo! Divine retribution. Who the fuck is, what the hell is this? One of the guy, Bishamonten. Isn't he one of the deities are fighting? Oh no, wait, we're fighting not Bishamonten. I think it's um Susano. But Bishamonten, the god of war? We seven pillars will deliver the death penalty to those who plot against the heavens. Heavens executioners, the seven lucky gods. He's also a fighter. Oh fuck, he's also a fighter. Look at this man. Of course he is. He stands up like hard as fuck. He stands up hard as fuck, dude. With some crazy flaming ring. Yeah, he's definitely. Oh, absolutely. And who the fuck, yo? The Wait, this man has a fish on his hat. Ebby suit. He has a fish. He has a carp. Is it alive? It probably is alive. Yeah, probably is. Oh my. Something strange this way blows. What? Okay. And then we have Loki. We have Buddha. And then Ebi Actually, Ebby suit. Like he's fucking Nehemiah from Bleach. Squatting up right there. Yo, 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 yo. It's been a while, eh, Buddha? I've been waiting for this day, you know. The day I could finally hand down punishment on your ass. What the fuck is this? And then Buddha. <laughs> ah, man. You got to suck on candy till it's done. But I keep biting right through it. So, who are you? So, who are you again? Come here, you bastard. Abby so I get fucked up. <laughs> Spits it right through his hand. Gwa! Gwa! <laughs> Buddha! Whoa! Ayo! Ayo, Buddha is lethal! Gwa! Gwa! Whatever, yo. Just stop the fucking bullshit. <laughs> the hell you think you are, huh? Damn brat! We'll kill you! He takes out a fucking. Magic Carp Gun. Like Magic Carp ate a fucking goddamn AK 47 candy. 
This guy pulls up. This big dude in the Gundam. The carp guy. Yeah, the carp Glock. Yeah, there we go. This guy looks like actually um, like a druid. This guy with the goddamn gold thing over his face. And then look at Fukurokuju. This cane thing has a sword. Of course it does. He looks so decrepit and nasty. And yo, Bishan Monten. What? Divine Retribution. Hey, yo, Bishan Montan is... He's gonna be a tough fight. Here, fights him. It's gonna be... It's probably gonna be... Actually, no, I know. I was gonna say make it, like, one of the other, like, random people. Like, I was, thought, I was thinking, like, maybe, uh, like, Nicholas Tesla. But then I realized... Oh, wait, hold on. Fuck. He's a Japanese god. So it's gotta be a Japanese fight. Yeah, definitely. Loki, now, now, wait a minute, hold on. Loki, if you defend him, then we'll also, nah, that ain't it. This is my prey. I won't have you stealing it. He said, it, what if I am? He didn't say he was. Got it? Oh my God, let me kill him, please. Okay, just kidding. <laughs> oh. Did you really think I protect you? <laughs> it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me either way. You guys want to fight? Let's get started then. This is Buddha, baby. He no scrub. Damn, motherfuckers activating here. And like, oh, shit. Ha. Huh. So noisy. Oh, here comes another person, of course. Ha. Huh. So noisy up here, in this heaven of yours. Wait, dude, this man just fucking had a fight. What are we talking about? He's like, dude, can we stop giving the Japanese guys so much love? Lu Bu died. Adam died. Sasaki coming out of fucking nowhere? Of course he is. All of you guys getting up on one person. Eh? Good grief. Guess whether it's people or gods. It's always the same, Aiden. No, come to think of it. That sea guy wouldn't have resorted to such trick. Oh, true. Poseidon done it man to man. Why are you here? Your match is already over, right? Well, I've never really been a fan of people that gang up on others, see? Huh? You, you're... <laughs> the man that killed Poseidon. Sasaki Kojiro. Nitoryu. Niten Ganryu wielder Sasaki Kojiro. At your service. Service? You're gonna help against this many gods, fool? Wow! Oh my god, he hasn't even... F they haven't even fought! They haven't even fought yet, nigga! What the fuck? They haven't even fought! And they're getting gas like, oh my, of course, oh, the f every time with Japan. What? No way, dude. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, the shit's in Gumi, man. Oh, yeah. Every time, the fucking shit's in Gumi get wanked up the dick. Oh, who are these niggas? Where the fuck is George Washington? Where the fuck is Shaka Zulu? Where are the real niggas? Where the fuck is Napoleon Bonaparte? No, Shinsen Gumi, yo. I'm like, what? Come on, bro. We got better niggas. I, I, I promise you. I promise you. Wow. He's done nothing. He's done nothing, yo. God Slayer. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> Clip that. No need to. Fuck. Not live stream fails. Please. Not those motherfuckers. Please. Napoleon would have been... Uh, he would have been nasty. Napoleon would have been mad fucking stocky. And he would have just blitzed through dudes. He would have been like a fucking wrecking ball. He would have just... Mad speed. Fucking 500 IQ. Absurd tactics. 
outstanding marksman. He would have been fucking disgusting. How you doing, son? I'm watching Japan watch wank the Shin Sangumi once again. I'm surprised. We came because we felt some strong auras, but... Now, what the hell is it? And then Buddha. More, of course, swordsmen. They are... There are so many gods here. Who the fuck is the brand new big dude? Big man is even going to fight. It's the little motherfucker. The big guy with the holes in his sword isn't even going to find the competition. Why the fuck do we get Bleach characters, basically? Here's Kitsugaya, and behind him is fucking Omida. That's actually pretty damn cool. Napoleon would co Sasaki. I guarantee you, Napoleon would full-on coast Sasaki. He would get fucking rolled. Rolled. By a man that's barely four foot three. I promise you. Who are you humans? Get lost if you don't want to die. <laughs> if you're all gonna... Pl oh, of course. Of course. Yeah, he's a, yeah, he's a tweaker. He's a tweaker. If you're all gonna play... Then please, let me join in too, please. <laughs> Tenen Rishin Wielder. Okita Soji. So Buddha has Japanese boys backing him up across the board. One's a tweaker. And we have Japanese deities and the random fucking Loki. And one guy has a goddamn carb gun. A carb clock. Shall we begin? A backstage brawl breaks out. Ready, ready when you are. Fuck. Of course. The kid hasn't even fucking fought yet. And he's already on. Like, Jesus Christ. Alright. Next chapter. Hold up. This is fucking ridiculous. So. Uh, Furido. New sub. Welcome to the family, Furido. Welcome to the realm. Bless your heart. Appreciate that. Really, really damn do. Means a lot. Thank you very much. And then also we have Winter Soldier 27 again. 2077. Gifted. Woo! Five subs to the Mega Church of Kata Curry and to the Realm of Lightning. Bless your fucking heart. Means a lot. Thank you very much, my man. Peace. Now, on to the next one. This is all going on. We have fucking Ashra versus goddamn Raiden. A backstage brawl within, uh, with the pride of humans and gods on the line? <laughs> this guy has a dumbass stance. Really dumbass stance. Uh, very expectations. Okay, so, so is someone to stop this? Like, what if Zeus walks in there? Like, fucking decrepit old man. Like, fucking... <laughs> Hey guys! Shut the fuck up. No. No. <laughs> I do wonder. I do wonder. Because I doubt we're going to have a full scale brawl. Or just going to see most of it. It, it. Five seconds before they go at it. Five seconds before they go at it. And then Saki Kojiro is wounded. I have a. Uh, Sasaki don't know. Hmm? How are your wounds? Just take a look. I'm doing fine. They even closed my whole. They even closed all my stomach. The doctors here are something else. <laughs> you should have stayed in your infirmary bed, old man. You just can't help sticking your nose where it doesn't belong. This time, you just might die. You know. Good grief, yare yare. Guess you guys are just selfish to the end, eh? No matter the time, you always think it'll go your way. Two sword stance, ready to go. It doesn't simply go my way. I make it. Koro-san. Yeah. That guy. Is definitely an evil god. Can I... Slice him in two? Okay. I can slice him in two, right? Yeah. Yo, this man's sword coming into this frame is such a pretty damn cool frame. That's actually a pretty damn cool ass fucking frame. What the fuck? Yeah. Hold on. God damn, Japan gets so much fucking love right here. So Koro-san. Yeah, that guy is definitely evil god. 
I can slice him in two. And then you have that fucking one, two, how many rings? Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Five rings, okay. Or five holes, yeah. Uh, but isn't there a sword that's like that? Where like, instead of holes, it has like rings. Like it has f eight or seven rings. Like, not a sword, but it's a blade. They're called blades, right? Where one side is the actual blade, and the other side's flat. And I think one has, like, seven or eight rings. I, I, I forgot what it was fucking called. But I remember seeing it before. There are swords like that. I'm not sure why the rings are there. I, f I forget why the rings are there. But there, but, but there are swords that are like that. I just forget where. Bankai? Uh, Buddha had got Shank vibes? Then, then, they, then they should be all dead. Then, then Buddha alone should be enough. Sasaki, the kid, big man, hmm, Loki, about a dash in there, stop. Sorry about this, Loki, man, but mind if I kill this lot of idiots? I, if I don't pay him for this, then I ain't gonna be able, then I ain't gonna be able to get a good night's sleep. Right, Buddha? <sighs> Dance, Buddha! I'll blow you out. I'll blow out that brain of yours. And he fires his fucking gun. The car pistol. A few bullets at once. Yada yada does it. Yare, yare, that's it. Cold glass is activated. Please. You can't touch me. You can't. The observation hockey. The future sight. Is on point. Easily dodged. And the foul behind them. Huh? 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 Abby Sue, where are you aiming? Ah, uh, wait, one what? He dodged. And they're all confused. And then his thing starts to actually melt. You can't just go breaking things like that. Property, property's rough, huh? Huh? The hell? He dies when I shot at close range? No, wait. It looked like he... Wow. As expected of Buddha. I knew it. You. Loki? The fuck are those? Loki, 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 what are these? Should disappear. Charges fucking the group. Income NA? Where? Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, puberty. Puberty. My bad. Puberty's rough. My bad. Wait, puberty? The guy? Puberty. He's fucking old as shit. Either way, fair enough. So, this man Loki has sickles that come from like a Moroku sort of black hole. And I'm seeing someone with rippling, jacked up muscles. That's enough! Oh! Oh, wait, I know that is. Yeah, I know that is. Yeah, of course. Here comes the fucking, the father of the cosmos. That's enough! Wait a minute, what? Huh? Good grief. You kids. Oh, it is him. Oh, uh, I thought it was Odin. I'm like, what the fuck? Odin has... No, the text bubbles, they actually point down. You kids got a little too much energy. Eh? Yo. <sighs> Gramps. Uncle, too. I don't know what happened, but to be fighting at a time like this, can't say I'm impressed. And Buddha, mad chill, yo. You can't go getting to punch ups everywhere you please. Shit for brains. Ha! <laughs> They're crows yelling at Loki. Outrageous to think that gods would be would fight amongst each other now. Wow, Kondosan, the crows are talking. So cute, eh? Where heavens? Excuse me. Eh? Wait, hold on. For it? Okay. I don't know who gave him that right, but fuck it. Eh? We're heaven's executioners, you know. You ain't got any in... 
You ain't got any jurisdiction over... The uncle of the cosmos. Hey, yo, those crows for the first time are looking hyper fucking menacing for the first time. The white one in particular looking extra fucking menacing. Nigga, what? Cease your squabbles. Hey, yo. Elder deities, wait a minute. Oh, wow! Zeus is joining the flex! Y'all, damn, hold up! Big Mom and Kaido! We both flexing right now, my nigga. Like, damn! Like, Odin and Mad fucking Regal and Zeus just like, like, mega seafood right here. Hands on his back, yo. When I get older, I'm walking around like that. Because I don't give a fuck. Like, right here? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, yo. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, yo. We, we, we posing. We old as fuck. And we lethal as shit. Just so you know. Hell yeah. What the fuck? Oh, no. Oh, no. Now, this right here is a real rumble. Not only a UFC rumble, but also Aaron. This is how you do it, nigga. Holy shit, you pose up, you flex up. And the ground is shaking. And the deities right now looking mad fucking mid. Such pressure. Oh well. Kinda lost all motion to fight now. Forget it. I'm gonna go watch the match. Later, Buddha. Until we meet again. There it is. Humph. Buddha. Sucking on lollipops. Bisha Monten. And the co executioners. Abandoned ship. Death to traitors. Do not forget. Are you going to live, Buddha? I mean, Bisha Monten? I have my doubts. Aw, oh, man. Such a poor conclusion. Well, it happens. Now you're trying to fight yet, dog. Jesus Christ. We will return to our room and observe the match. What of you, Koji Odono? Yeah, I guess I'll do the same. Ouch. Once I get off his wounds. Ouch. Uh, guess I laid a bit. Okay. Guess. Guess I laid it on a bit too thick there. There we go. Uh, sorry, there, Mr. God, for getting, for butting in your fun. Battle, battle. Buddha. Mm -hmm. All right. The fight is over now. Back to him as well. Also. Yo, Hercules' death has all the gods hyper riled up. And honest to goodness, they're very fucking frustrated that they're tied up with the humans. They're very frustrated. I'd advise you. Not to start any more fights. Got it? Okay. <laughs> oh, no. No! It's even scarier and they're laughing. And the crow's like, what the fuck is going on, yo? Break. That's... The only one that can move me on heaven or earth is me. Damn. Whoa. -ho -ho -ho. Damn. Oh, hard shanks vibes. Hard shanks vibes. What the fuck? Oh. Yeah, Almine vibes. The only one that can move me on heaven or earth is me. I mean, I don't think Buddha's fighting. But my goodness, Buddha is no fucking joke, yo. Buddha is no bitch. Despite his shirt. Yeah. 
He's a, he's on the list. Oh shit. Sheesh. Quite a troublesome man. That being said, this Ragnarok isn't quite going as expected. A eh, Norseman. All right. Guess I'll head back to watch Battle Battle. And Odin is yo. Oh, oh fucking Odin just yeah. Odin's ready, man. Odin's ready to fucking activate. Oh no. Odin is ready to fucking activate once again. M Master Odin? He thinks this shit is solo leveling. He thinks he's fucking big man from solo leveling. The evil is surging. <laughs> the crows, the ravens. Ayo, hey, what is this bargain risen ball shit? The decay. Yo, I'm back. Hop. What's up? How's it going? Well, huh? Take a look. So we missed all that. I mean, let's to be fair. Okay, this fight's kind of weird. Because we skipped that for the content, obviously. But we get an idea now of the full power of Raiden. And now Zeus is like, what? Take a look for yourself. Shiva. How has this happened? The, might, the mightiest god of destruction in all the heavens. Raiden is also bleeding from his forehead. Has been annihilated by Raiden Tameemon of humanity. The first to receive a decisive blow is Shiva. How did these wounds come about? I would like to know too. What the fuck? Oh shit, okay. What the fuck is going on there? More. Feed me more. What? What just? Full throttle versus full throttle. You're, you're kidding me. L Lord Shiva has. A divine stream of crimson trickling down the god's arm has been... It's been completely destroyed. A god's arm in a pitiful state. I mean, he has three left, but goddamn, his left bottom arm is fucked. Off screen. Uh, amazing. What a fight. Hmm. Man. This is insane. How did this happen? What happened, Hermes? Well, nothing really. He simply grabbed his arm and crushed it beneath his fingers. Huh? The moment mankind crushed the bones of a god was merely a few minutes prior. Don't go breaking down on me now, bud. Huh? Now you've said it, human! Raiden, dash. Huh? Hey! What the fuck is this? His Hamon! Wait a minute! Hamon! And it's... Oh, shit. With the power of the... Actually, with the power of the ripple. Praise the fucking... Praise the sun. Oh, shit. Not even I know what'll happen if I use this at full force. Block with all four arms. Punch. His inner two arms cave in. Whoa. And he continues. Well, <sighs> 
skits. Psh, bastard! Huh? Oh no, not this fucking Russian move again, yo. Not this Russian punch. Was that an actual lariat? Is that a chrysanthemum clothesline? What the fuck? Chrysanthemum clothesline. Oh no. JVL. This motherfucker is JVL. He's Rey Mysterio, yo. Wait a minute, yo. That step. Yo, the Katakuri step. Buzz cut mochi. Yeah. That's a nice shot. That's a nice shot. That's a nice clothesline. I was hoping for a clothesline. We got a clothesline. I was hoping for one and bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> Holy hell! Actually, Ray Mysterio! And he's, oh, face fucking first. <laughs> Overwhelming power! Raiden's full power has overwhelmed the Hindu god. <laughs> Impossible. The mighty Shiva has been injured by a mere human. Nice one, Raiden. Yeah, you're the best, Master Raiden. I. I. This guy again? I am besieged by emotion. Four Yak okay, so four Junior Yakuza again. Uh again. Uh Tani Kaze, this guy again. To think I'll be able to see right in fight released from his shackles. This guy right here. I agree. The fifth guy too again. Right in strength lies in his spirit. And to right in Tamemon, the sumo ring was far too small. Fuck. Okay. Shit. <laughs> Guess so. Take him down, Raiden! And the fucking fatties over here. Take him down! Oh! Honey Tay! Oh! <laughs> the fat men are enjoying themselves. Good show. That's amazing! He's amazing! So he wasn't just a massive pervert. Of course. He can win. He can win this. Humanity can finally take the lead. <laughs> Ugh. Ah, what the fuck are you doing? Is that, is that what is that wobble, yo? Th this is bad. He's all over the place. It appears that blow sent him sprawling. Shit. Sorry, but I'm gonna I'm gonna end it here. Grab Shiva by the fucking face. Is he going for a fucking headbutt? And he's really close, but it looks like Shiva, wait. Kitsugi Gar, Kitsu, yeah, Kit, no, Kit T. Whoa, whoa, okay, never mind, hold on, wait a minute, what the fuck is that? CT, I don't know what that is. Something embrace. I don't, I don't know what that is. Reading? I mean, dude, that's beyond me. That's that, that's well beyond me. Holy fuck. I can't say that word. I can't even say it. I don't know what that is. So it's uh, City Garba? Garbha? City Garba. City Grabha. Garba. Okay, I'm gonna just say something to embrace. And then something happens. And then, you bastard. You came at me. And then, yes, she would the counter. His eye. Man, that stings. I thought it was all over with Ryan's head, but Shiva actually greeted the attack with his own. He! The eye. 
But you see, and he does, what is it? Masenko! Ah, yeah. Masenko! No, actually, Masenko's motherfucker, yo. Yo! And that's Frieza, getting completely flummoxed. But you see, woo, Shiva, double knuckle. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Uh, right there, base of the chin, and then right in. Whoa there, Shiva's blast on an explosive combo. Ah, knock, knock. I ain't gonna lose. In stubbornness, let me tell you. It's my turn. Huh? Here I come. What? Auras and Mudas combine. Korra. Korra, 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 And a barrage of fist from Shiva. Heh. Like those peace shooter arms will work on Master Raiden. Do those look like peace shooters to you? No. Damn. The sumo guys that caught on. They know. They can feel it. Wait a minute. With that pressure, it's like each blow is hitting with the force of a cannon. Getting force back. Ryan actually muscles through, gets a shot on Shiva. Shiva muscles through himself. Huh? Run! Yo, damn! Rush! Rush! Damn, what the fuck is this? He is just rushing with an onslaught of blows. Sheesh. Okay. A one-sided slaughter. Shiva is beating down Raya with, with a never-ending rush of blows. Forearms comes in clutch for that. Raiden! Stand strong, Raiden! Block. Appendix shots, rib shots at the same time. Yo, Shiva is mad. I thought she'd be more of like a more conniving sort of like schemer. No, he's just a fucking meathead, yo. Damn. Gah! Huh? What? Grabs an arm. Damn. You're a pain. Let go! I refuse. Koto Aru squeezes even more muscle. Kinikuman! <laughs> Holy fuck! Kinikuman! Wild boar! What? And that sound, that crunch, that they all heard that. Kicks him off. Man, you're out of control. Take uh, take care, that arm doesn't fall off. Ha, ha, impossible. Even Hermes, what the fuck just happened, yo? What a turn of events. The destroyer god's arm has ripped to shreds by the human Raiden Tamemon. Th that that's the power of humanity's greatest muscle, Kimiku Man. Of course, that's not all. If that were it, the itch of the power would be far weaker. Raiden's volume is currently allowing him to exert control over his previously berserk muscles. So simply by focusing his muscle towards his forearm, he was able to destroy Shiva's arm in an instant. Good lord. Oh my god, he just fucking gear third. That's why? Dude, the muscles actually expand and swelled fivefold per forearm and bicep. Oh my god.
Live. He's a freak! He's an absolute fucking freak. The muscle is unyielding. This is something. He's like, what he's doing, dude? This is something else. He can move his muscles at will? That's too much control. Beyond this, beyond this point, not even Ryan himself knows where the battle will lead. A fight in which even he will learn the extent of his own powers. The third sister of the Valkyries, uh, Throod, and the rune her name borrows from. Third Valkyrie sisters, Throod. Nice one. N nice! That's why you're the peerless Rikishi. Yeah, screw that fancy actor uh, type. Actor type? Okay. No, no way! Shiva too now? If we lose here, then we'll be at a three consecutive losses. Please, please hold out. Oh, the gods are praying. The gods? Who do the gods pray to? Shit. To the non-believers? <laughs> I'll open from nine to five, boys. Nine to five. Amidst the gods that trembled in uncharacteristic fear, the Hindu men that knew Shiva reacted to the contrary. Heh! Like, like Lord Shiva ever lose against a boy like that? Oh, really? The Hindu men? You got that right. He's got our souls dwelling in those fists of his. Lord Shiva, blow him away for us. <sighs> to us, you're truly the peak of manliness. Oh, the Hindu gods aren't backing down one iota. I already know. I always have. Every one of them watching me with those honest eyes of theirs. Shiva had never betrayed his companion's hopes. Not even once. The Hindu gods. The wives. Damn. What is this? The deity is getting a Nakama power-up? Guess I can't let you guys down. His blood, fist, and soul are on fire. It's time to... Hey, yo, stop. Wait. When he says blow him away. Um, I mean, maybe Shiva rolls somewhat the other... You know, I'm going to stop. Because I'm getting in trouble. Because, you know... There could be some guys watching, like, wait. No. No, sir. Stop the cap. I don't want to get people on my doorstep. Like, I like curry. Okay. Back down. Shiva, the battle's only just begun. Hmm? Huh? Shiva, you've got this. And the Hindu guys are just, like, fucking heh. Shiva! What is this main character moment right now? God damn. I'm carrying all their hopes. Sorry, but... Shouldering his pride, the god goes wild. You don't mind if I annihilate you now, right? The Destroyer and the Tempest. Blow you a kiss? Uh, I will for 500 gifted subs. Cool. So... Shiva's aura is now surging. It looks so weird. His other arm, that's just like fucking layman now. Holy shit. Oh, and he missed sloppily. What's that massive swing? He's missing one arm. So it's natural the balance of his body has been disrupted. But that means... Fush! You're wide open, you know. Fuck. He eats a knuckle to the face. Shiva. Huh? What? Yeah. And with the upper right arm. Doro! Straight connected. Tch, shit. Shiva's fist sent right and flying. He goes skirting. His strikes have gotten even heavier? The Hindu gods. Hell yeah! See that? He's... He's one hell of a brawler. Got it? 
Those fist of his have got the force of our spirit behind them. Like on some straight kingdom shit. He has weight. The weight of his allies. Of responsibility. And then here comes Ryder with another fellow bros. And then here comes... He's taking... He's, damn, taking these shots full board. And then here comes the bottom right arm. Goes right for the fucking midsection. Ooh. How and then I'm surprised. This fight has really turned into a fucking goddamn brawl. A straight up fist fight. Headbutt right to the forehead. And then right in skirts. Headbutts him right back. Grabs his head. Grab his head. Shiva. Ha! Rah! Yusuke Yurameshi and Chu Dark Tournament round fucking one. Oh shit. And they continue. After this, Papegas? Yeah, of course. Brain cells being lost. But to be fair, they have the best doctors in the universe. So maybe they can restore some brain cells. <laughs> Blood just splattering all over the place. The sumo guys, just holy shit. Brunhild and Gear. The Hindu gods are all about this life. God damn, yo. Hey, yo, the Hindu gods kind of scare me. All right. I kind of prefer the guy that's on the cross that's pretty peaceful. He's actually a pretty swell dude. The Hindu gods are a little more aggressive than I first thought they would be. Mm, they're a little more aggressive than I thought they would be. Yes. And of course, Greece watches on. <laughs> it's been a few thousand years since the sins have gotten this heated. Reminds me of that time, right? Rudar? Rudar. Uh, Rudrar. Rud, Rud, Ra? Or Rudra? Rudra, Rudra, Rudra. Back then. The realms of, uh, the realms of, Savgra and Patala. The first thing I'm not too sure how to say that name exactly. We're flooded with thousands of gods and demons. Ashras. Oh, the Ashras. Yeah, yeah, fair. Oh, Zoro. What up, dog? And so, with the strongest gods at its center, a civil war broke out. A thousand devil war. Oh, shit. So we have this guy. Indra. This guy is Indra? Oh, shit. Varuna, Agni, this was well before India had united their gods under a single pantheon. What the fuck? Braham, Vishnu? Oh shit. The mere concept had to yet even exist. And in the countryside of... Uh, Savgra. It's called, yeah, Ga? No, no, that's Ga. That's a uh, Savrug. Some of that story. I can't say the name exactly. We have a cow. Two virtually unknown devas resided. Chilling. Sleeping. The destroyer, Shiva. And Rudra. Or Rudra. Punching and 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 punching. You keep up that training of yours day after day. Don't you ever get bored? Ah, even if it's just a little, I want to become stronger. The Tempest. Who the hell is this? Okay. 
Rudd Ra. The Tempest, Rudra, and Shiva. The Destroyer. Hmm. So studiously. But you see, this ain't bad either, right? Check it out. Come on. You dance too, Rudra. It's fun to just let loose once in a while, you know. The Lions. And see, this is how you know it's Cap. We have Predators and Prey chilling at the same time. That's kind of crazy. True. Check it out. Chill this dance, yo. Yo, 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 yo. Good grief. Though they were polar opposite to one another. Just a little, all right? Oh, nice. High velocity twists. They've got along extremely well. The tigers and the oxen and the snakes just chilling and dancing along. Rudra, Shiva, but bad news. The slaughter siblings have come to the village. P please help us. What? Got it. We'll be right there. Huh? Again? What a pain. You say that, but you're coming, right? <laughs> Can't be helped. Uruk! Yeah! The slaughter siblings. Ashra, elder slaughter sibling, uh, Sumba. Okay. Uh, so we have slaughter sibling Ashra here. Six arms, mass stully as fuck. Damn. Guys, you're being down. Eek! Where's the devil that rules over your village? Th there isn't one. But the strongest here are the destroyer and the tempest. Destroyer and Tempest? What's up with those stupid low-class names? They're so basic. Ashra, younger, Sibler. Okay, so we have Zoro's Ashra. Ashra, younger, Ashra, younger Slaughter Sibling. Nisumba. Again, these names, I'm not Hindu. I'm not Indian. I, these names are... Even if I could have no NA and not be looks like... Fuck it, regardless, I think. Sorry about that. Our names are basic, are they? We're the Tempest and the Destroyer. Got it? You guys better get lost before we mess up your ugly mugs even more. Huh? Some Destroyer you are. May, uh, maybe I ought to wipe that smug look off your and then headbutt. Blue teeth broken. Shit. Huh? Ah, shit, that hurts. Owie. <laughs> what? Hey, yo, if you say owie unironically, you deserve to get bullied. You deserve to get absolutely, like, wedgies and noogies on a daily basis. You deserve that shit. Until, until you stop saying owie, you should get a wedgie every day. Twice a day. Once before class starts, and once after class starts. Even in college. Until even when you're a grown motherfucker, guy or girl, if you say "I'll on ironically," you deserve to get a wedgie. I don't give a fuck what no one says. I don't care. That's ridiculous. But big bro, you, you bastard, we'll kill you. Of course. Good grief, you don't even give him a chance to leave, huh? It was about to happen. So why don't we enjoy some simple dancing? Damn it! They spent each day going from one brawl to another. Ah, socks. Ah, noogies. Ah, headbutts. Ah, Toshiva Rudra was the greatest friend one could have. And they're fighting a slew of Ashra and other demons. And then, uh, Rudra. Hey, Shiva, what do you plan to do from here on out? Huh? Maybe I should become the... Nataraja, wherever that is. Um, San skirt for the Lord of Dance. Oh, okay. I've always been a good dancer anyway, right? Sounds right up your alley. Hey, Shiva, what's up with you today? Don't laugh when I tell you this, all right? Huh? You see, I have a dream. That one day, we're gonna work it out, out, out. We're gonna work it out, out, out. Giorno Giovanna style. Yume. Orewa Yume no Adas. I'm going to stop that. A dream. A dream, he says. A dream. You had blah. You a human or something? A dream. A dream, he says. What does he say? Shit. 
My bad, my bad. Yo, his head actually would do that too. Shiva, I want to stand at the peak of the Savraga. The peak. I want to test myself. Find out just how far I can uh, find out just how far I can go as a deva, you know? Svarga. The Svarga? Okay, fair enough. Okay, so I have to announce okay, so I have to enunciate the S even more. So the Svarga. I suppose. And I want to see the scenery up there. That has yet to be seen. The scenery up there, huh? Shiva. Want to come with me to climb to the peak? I get the feeling the two of us could climb any peak together. Can't be... That sounds almost kind of gay, you know? Uh, can't be helped. You wouldn't listen even if I objected. And although I've got no interest in the peak up there, I've, I always have fun with you, Rudra. So, I guess it, I'll help you. I, I guess I'll keep you company. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Chilling, relaxing in the flower, in the flower bed with the butterflies. Shiva, hmm? Will definitely become a big deal. Got it? Hey, <laughs> yeah! Fist bump it out. A and B. A and B. Holy fuck. A and B. The current draws on the strongest tag team. Fair enough. And the show goes on. What the fuck is this? Svarga's Peak. I hope these peaceful days continue forever. But of course they never do. So Svarga's Peak, we have Chilling on this tiger it is Shiva and this motherfucker Rudra just studly while reading a book. While reading a fuck okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. Though it'll be very unfortunate for you, Rudra, if that tiger takes a massive shit. Cause this man is aimed right at your fucking Oof, okay. And imagine that. You do all that cool ass. Like you're really damn cool. You're fucking flexing. And the tiger takes a massive shit on you. That's yo. Pfft. Two idiots have chosen to climb the peak of Svarga, starting from the bottom. Check it out. It's a destroyer in the tempest. Everyone laughed at them at something. Two bumpkins to the top of Svarga, as if they as if that ever happened. They right in the head. They would scoff at their hopes, ridicule them, even and yet. Walking tall. Big men. And yet. The destroyer in the tempest. Huh? And yet. Down and out. Man on the ground. Got him. The visage of their unstoppable march. They just annihilated the, uh, they just annihilated the ashras. Just Shiva and Rodera. You serious? They're insane. At some point, the sneers turn into looks of admiration. This is a long shot, but just maybe. Yeah, those two just might get there. Oh, fuck. To the peak. They followed them? Oh, wow. They got a fucking posse. They got an army by their side. Holy shit. Of Svarga. And scorn turn to support. Hey, wait a minute. These boys got a good view. Oh, shit. Look at that. Look at that. The unstoppable march opened up. Their unstoppable march opened the path before them. The Lord of the Devils. Bootishwar. Okay, fair enough. Two heads done. The great. I don't want to say that name. Ma Tapas. 
I want to say a scientist, but it's not the same thing, obviously. I'm, or where's an N here? A scientist? A set? A setics? A set? Something like that. Either way, he's down. With each famed opponent they brought down, he who defeated death, he lost? What the fuck? Mirtun Jaya. The weight of their dream they carried grew on their backs. The one who has three eyes. I mean, so does fucking goddamn Shiva. Uh, we have Trillo Chana. The line with wings. Sara Bach. I think to say that name. The one who takes away Hara. Nice name. Thank you. The one who wears a serpent on his neck. What the fuck? Okay, yo. I'm going to stop because this is getting ridiculous. The one who wears a skull necklace. Mun da. I said I'm going to stop. Holy shit. Oh, no. The one who carries a skull. The Lord of Immortality. The Great King. Fuck. The Immovable just got destroyed. The one who rules. The Great Darkness Ruler of Death. And no. What the fuck? All right, that's Cap. Listen, if they beat a nigga that apparently defeated death and, quote, the great darkness, ruler of death and time, this guy is the embodiment of the fucking universe. He's a fucking eternal. And they won. Somehow, Rudra won. Against the great darkness and the rule of death and time. Lady fucking death or do death. The one that Thanos wants to pork was beaten by Rudra. Maka, ma, oh my god, Maka, whoa, Mahakala, there we go. And is that versus? God of fire, Agni. God of water, Varna. Holy shit. Why are these guys ahead of the great darkness, ruler of death and time? No offense to fire and water, but I would figure that the great darkness, ruler of death and time, is a far more... Like, that's a final villain motherfucker right here. And... Apparently, the god of fire and the god of water are ahead of this motherfucker? What? Just a little? Just a title? But yeah, but I mean, come on, bro. Like, title should matter. Like, you shouldn't have the kind of title unless you're, you, unless you're fucking, like, you know, Jesus. Like, know your role. Like, know if it's the fire. Like, if you have a fire deity of any kind versus God... I'm going with God. Following each encounter was another, taking the titles of each god defeated. Oh, really? They defeated those two. Holy shit. Uh, god of fire and water. Putting their lives on the line. Oh, shit, Indra. Indra is actually Sanji. This man is just old. Fucking goddamn Rudra takes this solo. Versus God of Thunder Indra. Against some of Hinduism's mightiest gods. To the peak. Wait, why is it versus? Or like, what does versus even mean here? What does VS mean? I don't know what it means. Braham the creator. Is that actually versus or is that just like... Does that mean something in Hindu? Like VS. Okay, so it's versus. Alright, fair enough. Fine. I thought maybe it was like something in, in like Hindu that was important. But okay, I guess not. Okay, so this is... so Rekka 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 is absolutely banned from India without, without, without a doubt. Braham the creator. Vishnu... The Preserver. Holy fucking Vishnu, man. Vishnu. 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 Dude. Fuck. Then again, you're Shiva. Though I never heard of Rudra before, ever. 
And in that moment, the world's first Vita was written. The Hindu deities. Rudrar and Shiva. Bloody fists. Sweat. Fist bump. Shiva and Rudrar. Or Rudra. And then, boom. Whoa! Whoa! That's a boys! That's a boys! Defeated 1,115 gods to stand at the peak of Savarga. Hell yeah, we did it. Shit, we fucking did it. Mm. Whoa, just look at that. The whole world laid bare. God damn. God damn. That view is something else. Oh, you see that, Rudar? You see that, Rudar? That's the village we came from. Shit. Hello! You try it too, Rudar. It fe feels pretty good, Shiva. Actually, you know what? Nobody saw this one coming, right? That we'd be the ones to reach the top. I guess that just means that we're the ultimate tag team. Shiva. Ha! <laughs> that was so much fun. <laughs> Shiva. I'm ready to fight? Why, though? You can't share the dream, son? You're being mad stingy, yo. What the fuck is this? You ready to fight, Shiva? Only one god needs to stand at the peak. I mean, there's plenty of room at the top, clearly. Clearly, there's plenty of room at the top. There's plenty of, pl there's plenty of space. Only one god needs to stand at the peak. That's the best for both gods and mankind. And... That God should be the strongest. Isn't that right? What are you getting at? You and me. We need to know who is stronger. Shiva. Fight me. Shit. You. Now you've said it. You just never listen. C can't be helped then. You ready for my greatest dance? Fully prepared. Asta and Yuno reached the top of the mountain. They became Wizard King. But there's only one Wizard King. There's no Wizard Democracy. And their fists clash. <laughs> Boom. Headbutts. Vortexes. Shockwaves. It was the fiercest battle since the beginning of India. The sounds of fists striking flesh echoed throughout the entirety of the land. Damn. Lesser gods. Even Sanji. There we, oh, shit. We just chilling. Their sweat became a... What the fuck? Open your mouth, say, ah! Uh -huh. <sighs> Listen. If God was real, by the way, and see, who knows? We'll all find out one day, I suppose. And he said, let me sweat on you. In fact, you know what? Fuck that. Let me take a piss on you. R. Kelly style.
piss on you. Whoa, what did we clip? Hey, wait, hold up. I didn't say shit. Kind of salty? Yeah. I mean, sweat does that. It is the... It is, in some capacity, excrement, yes. Pee, sweat, yes. We do excrete these things from our bodies. But it's that of a deity. I mean, shit. I got a water bottle to fill. If it's on Friday, shit, I got two. Their sweat became a torrential downpour for Shiva and for Rudra. Their sweat. It was the greatest and the saddest time of their lives. And the gods are actually climbing up to watch this shit until... They finally reached the end. Don't stand up. Stay down, Rudra. Stay down. Stay stay down, Joey. Stay down like the dog you... No, not yet. I'm only just getting started. Please. No more. Please. Don't make me do any... Oh, shit. Okay. Don't make... Don't make me do this anymore. <laughs> I'm not finished. That's enough. Ooh, please surrender already. Please, stay down. Don't get up again, Rudra. At this rate, you're gonna die. Rudra! <sighs> it's not over yet. I... Can still go on. You see, I have a dream. Shiva, I. I want to stand at the peak of Savarga. So you're called Shiva. You're an interesting guy. I'm Rudra. Rudra. The Tempest. It can't be helped. Rudra, you really are insanely strong. It's my. I give up. Fuck. He knew what he knew who the bear man was. It's my loss. R Rudra, what are you saying? Why are you? Listen to me, Shiva. If someone's giving their all then you got to give it all back. Holding back against someone risking their life is a fate far worse than death, you know. Rudra, I... But I... I didn't mean... I... I mean... But it's... Your dream! You <laughs> fuck. Alright, this is like a fucking hyper bromance story, yo. God damn. This is a hyper bromance it's your dream, man! Like, even his third eye is crying. You idiots, don't cry. In truth, you're, and the deities know it too. Even Sanji. Standing at the peak of 1,116 gods. Shiva, can I leave Savarga to you? Can't. Can't be helped. Wait a minute. Oh, Rudra has Shiva's markings. And now they're going over to Rut, and now they're going over to Shiva. Huh? 
That really was a fun dream. Thanks. Well then, take care, Shiva. And the and the Hindu gods show their fucking respect. And so, Rudra left Savarga, leaving Shiva standing at the top. Shiva! 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 But that wasn't his dream, yo. That was Rudra's dream. But in exchange, he lost his greatest friend. Shiva! Shiva! Back to the fight. Car! Look at headbutt. Skirt. Eye. Carry the hopes of 1,116 gods upon me. I'm not going to lose to anybody. Huh. Right, Rudra? If I were to stop here, you'd just lecture me again. And the Hindu pantheon. <laughs> That's a boy. That's a boy. Damn. Damn. Who the fuck is this man, Cloak and Dagger? Uh-oh, we know. I knew you'd come. What are you doing? Hiding in the shadows like that. Braham. Or Brahma. Rudra. Rudra. Brahma, Braham, I want to the name. The other top tier Hindu gods. Yaho! Vishnu, Indra, God of Fire, God of Water. Here we go. Agni, Varna, Vishnu, Indra. Right. Aren't you guys doing just the same? But still, he never changes, huh? The leader of Svarga is always so reckless. You get it, though, right? He's not just anyone, but when he's well, when his fight starts, he enjoys taking. He enjoys talking with his fists more than anybody else. That's Shiva for you. I mean, he's a massive pain in the ass. No matter how many times I hit him, he'd be uh, smiling the whole time. Also, he doesn't know the meaning of restraint. He's just a huge idiot. <laughs> Even so, our leader's fighting now. We owe him we owe it to him to see it through till the end. Yeah. Go, Shiva. All the battles to reach the top and our fight as well. Show him the result. Now then. Shiva's 1,116th name. The victor ready with proof of his strength. You ready for my greatest dance? Rudra the Tempest. So he has dances after all of them? Or techniques after all 1,116 deities per se? Maybe? Uh-oh. All right. No. The quality just fucking tanks. What just happened? No. This cannot be. Wait, what? Hold up. Wait. Oh, shit, color. Wait.
There is a 37.5. The 7 million year long history of mankind is having a new extra added pages to it. What the fuck is this? They're, they no longer get high quality raws. Oh, no way. They stopped the high quality raws. Advertisement? Oh no. Okay, it's filler. Seriously? Well, it's not, it's not, it's not terrible, terrible. But the quality does drop for sure. This is, uh, this is it, Lord Shiva. Right in Sama, give it your all. Chapter thirty-eight. The time. I actually, I think that Wrecking Dragon Rot is actually going to be on Viz Media in the future. I think it is. So I guess they would have the higher quality versions at this point onwards. That's my, that's my best bet. Yeah, it is. Yeah, okay, here we go. Yeah. Let's finish this off in one shot. Damn it, he lost an arm, but he's tough. Ready to kick it up a notch? Ha! And there's a stance. That's it. That's it. Yeah! The dance. With a bellow, Shiva began to beat out an unusual... What the fuck is this? With the bellow, Shiva began to beat out an unusual time. His footwork was the rhythm of the cosmos, which he alone could perform. What what the Shiva's dancing? As such, Shiva as such, it was an unpredictable and incredibly deadly war dance. That's yep. That's the move he used to beat me. Oh shit, the war deity. Takita Tatin Gi Na Tom? In response to Shiva's dancing, the other Hindu gods will start to chant his battle beat. Oh, fuck. This some Kyokai shit. Tom na gi tin ta. Oh, -ho! so this is Shiva's war dance, known as the hidden treasure of Svarga. War dance. Is that what it is? Hermes, are you familiar with it? I am. It is Shiva's very own trump card, which he used when he brought that ragtag bunch in Sfar got together. At any rate, it is quite a unique rhythm. And looking on, right in, over here, chilling. Ha! Oh, and then he dives in. And then he kind of like fades with the rhythm. And then this man goes for repeated punches to the face, to the midsection, repeatedly. Gah! Shiva flowing strikes land a clean hit on their mark. We haven't seen him. We haven't seen Ryan use actual sumo yet, though, for a minute. I think. This man got the thick ass thighs activated. Muscle control. Yeah, tone, time, time over here. Jumps up. What? The actual fuck is this? Ass, thighs, feet, dragon mouth. Shishimai, where the fuck that is? Eat this! Two giant Kingdom Hearts clodhoppers. Shiva. The man is giving himself to the rhythm. Mm. He's playing dance, dance, revolution on God mode. Shiva, kick, back. Whoa. Shiva, dance. Ta. What? Rebound. Punch. Ten. Gi. Na. What? Tom. Oh, look at this kick. Damn. 
Oh, a fucking hook kick like that? He's not letting up. Let's go all the way. Don't miss a beat. You guys got that? The Hindu gods. Ta ka ta ka di mi ta ki ta ta ki ta tin. I'm, 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 oh fuck, dude. I'm afraid if I go any further, I'm gonna summon some crazy fucking goddamn ancient creature into my room. So I'm gonna stop right there. But the chant continues on. Okay, we're safe. I think. A, he makes like after image of himself and clones. Oh, fucking Raro's doing it too. Ta ka di. Me ta ki ta. Oh, fuck. Let me stop. No, me. No, no. Ha. Headbutt. Kick. He He's about to. No, wait. He can't fall. Shiva's dance isn't over yet. Ta ki ta mi da ka ta. Tom na gi ten ta ta ki ta. To think that Shiva, that the peak of Svarga was this strong. Is that the foot of Hermes? Yes. Oh, Hermes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's dancing. It's a rather pleasant tune, don't you think? Mm hmm. The, the pleasant? I, I can't stop sweating. Yo, he sees the power. Due to this unpredictable rhythm, Shiva can't keep. Uh, Shiva can keep that multi-hit attack up uh, incessantly. As for uh, Raiden, I imagine he's under the impression of being attacked by many, many enemies at once. Someday, I love to dance with Shiva as well. Oh shit! But he's actually be yeah. Oh wait a minute now, but he may die. So uh oh oh shit! Let's see he wins. Though in this fight, I don't, I don't necessarily care, to be fair. To be fair. This isn't good, sister. It's basically one-sided. If this keeps up, good. Take a closer look at Raiden's arms. The man is fucking... Don't get too cocky, bud. Ew. 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 No! No, this man is controlling tumors. Like, this guy has, like, that's how you beat cancer. You control the cancer in your body. At will. Gil Thoddle. Ew. Both forearms. Oh, no! Ugh. Uh. It's like just giant meat shields. Literally. Stress. Oh, he's stressing, yo. Fuck. All right, no. They look like muscle mountains. Oh my god. Miyama. Actual hulkish muscle mountains. Watch his fist get sucked into his own forearm. I have a fucking crackling sound. Goom, goom. Oh, ew. No, Mansum. Mansum is... I, I, can take any, I can take anything you throw at me. A shield. Oh, Raiden's focus his muscles into both his arms to put a guard up. Completely shutting Shiva out. A true wall of flesh. Woo! Nice one, man. Your muscles might dancing. Let's see which one will come out on top and it's just a fucking flurry a barrage a fucking river of shivas and fist and the unmovable here we go the perfect example of the unmovable object and the unstoppable force let's see here tone ta shi ta tone don and he's putting the fucking hockey into his fist and he's doing a fucking double oh my god what is that smoke He's literally burning up. If I had to guess, his intense dancing is causing his body to become superheated and combust. Wait a minute. The blood 
is evaporating. Did you say combust? Indeed. It's one of the secrets of Svarga, the, Svarga's Destroyer. Oh, fuck. Red Hawk versus Gear 3 Elephant Gun. Elephant Shield. Oh, versus the Hawk Gatling. Yeah. Elephant Shield versus the Hawk Gatling. And a barrage, a flurry of blows. From all, I mean, it's a Kage Bunshin no Jutsu. And they're actually sinking into the mound of muscle. And they haven't stopped. And then just imprinting into this man's wall of muscle. Shiva, the destroyer, with the rhythm. How the hell long is he going to keep this up for? I can't believe there's a whole world full of these bastards. I can't hold out much longer. Shit. Looks like my moves win. Wait a minute. Muscle meet fight. Go. What is that pose? Oh, shit. He's about to... This man... An actual... Oh, Shinra Kusakabe style. Oh, fuck. Wait a minute. Let's finish this off. Ah. The leg of the devil. The Hindu leg of the devil. Scorches. Krit uh, Tiv Vasa. Some of that sort. Just, oh, damn! Oh, fuck that kick. Oh, fuck that kick. Blood burn mark. Gah! What? It looked like some blood spread out for a moment, but now just smoke. I don't even imagine how that feels. The flesh that got torn open. Really? Was cauterized in an instant? Which actually kind of helps him in a way. But what the fuck? Oh, that's new. So hot, the flesh that instantly tore open was cauterized in an instant. Yo. They're like, oh shit, what? But I was like, oh, what the fuck was that? Raiden! Well? What do you think? Did my dance? Ah, Get you fired up? Fuck. The Hindu gods like, fuck yeah, that's our boy. That's our fucking true deity. Hell yeah. Buddha. Odin watched from the fucking monitor. Greeks. We're not done yet, though. Loki. Brunhild and so on. The samurai share the room? Really? Nippon, they share the room? Deadass. Both God and man. Everyone there. Hey, look. Rydens was convinced mankind had suffered their third loss. But Raiden, Tame, Emon alone. Fuck. Softly. Man, what a pain! Smiled. Not done yet. Next chapter. Forbidden move. Here comes the banshee. Here comes the fucking rebound of Tom and Mayon. 
Uh oh. The hell he's smiling? Does he? Did he think Destroyer finally break him? He's strong. I I can't take this. While most of mankind despaired at its overwhelming inferiority. Fucking sumo. Fucking sumo. Those men who had clashed with Raiden and Tommy Amon in the ring stood defiant. This is it. We know Raiden's strength better than anyone else. Yeah, the title peerless Rikishi ain't just for kicks. This motherfucker looked like he died from Raiden. Holy shit. This motherfucker looks like he actually got killed by him personally. With that fucking hottie take slap. Right in! Throw him out of the ring! There's no ring. See that? Tani Kaze? Right in, smiling on the ring. <laughs> he really is happy, ain't he? Eh? Onogawa. <laughs> do you remember the whole... Okay, do you remember the... Um, uh, do you remember in the first fight with Lu Bu? And then during that, you had Guan Yu... Zhang Fei and Liu Bei. And do you remember how there was one dude, um, Liu Bu's strategist, that was so giddy and happy? This guy's like him, but he's a fat version of that. Honest to God. Honest to God. He's, he's just like that. It's ridiculous. He's a fat, bald version of that. And it's fucking, it's odd. It's very, very, the hype man. There's always one hype dude. And it's fucking very strange. Taro Kichi, you bastard. You finally got it. You can finally go all out. No. No Rikishi ever loved Sumo as much as Raiden Tame Emon. While not having Sumo love them back. Keep going. You're still in. Come on. That's it. Throw. Rah. Taro Kuchi, age five. Oh yeah, that's seven in a row. Who's next? No way, you can't be beat, uh, Toraji. Aw, uh, what, no one wants to try? Hmm? Wanna give it a shot? Uh, Taro, uh, Kichi? Sure I can handle it? Yeah! Is that a Taro Kichi cut off for Sumo? Don't know, I never seen him try. And go. Hmm, Taro Kichi's really weak. I think I'll go easy on. Yeah. While smiling. Fucked up while smiling. Even with. Uh, Hayakuhi. Or Hayakuhi. Holding his muscles back. Huh? Huh? He was like a freak of nature. Slammed. Uh. All right, I won. Yeah, you okay? Eek! What, what the hell are you? It's a monster. It's Dai Darabochi. Dai Darabochi. No. Taro Kichi. You're not gonna play with the other kids. Oh, you're, you're not gonna play with the other kids, Mama. Why am I? Not like everyone else. Why God make me such a freak? Shit, Taro Kichi. Your mama is very thankful to God. When you couldn't stand up, we went to the shrine so many times and prayed to God. Please give this child the ability to stand on his own feet and let him grow up big and strong. And now, you've gotten so big, Taro Kichi, God loves you. Your power is a gift from God, and your mama is so proud of that. So please, use that power, that yours, and yours alone, for the good of the weak. Oh, shit, Hippo. Yo, King Yu just tuned in. I just wanted to ask if this has going to be asked. When is the next Soul Leveling stream? Uh, happy reading, Rick and Ragnarok. It's crazy lit. Have a good day, brother. I'm probably going to try to get to it either on Friday or on Saturday. That's my aim for Soul Leveling at this point in time. That's my aim. Because tomorrow I'm going to stream anime tonight. Because I'm streaming right now, right now, obviously. And then I need to do videos for tonight before I go to bed, eat, and so on and so forth. So, but yes, I plan to tell you on Friday or on Saturday. So, Taro Kichi over here holding on to his mama. Can't, of course, hold on too, too hard. 
for the good of the weak. From then on, was just, just a, okay, just as his mother w had wished. Damn, big motherfucker right here, Tarakichi. Tarakichi grew up to be a kind-hearted child. Oh, that's why it's not like the, okay, I get it. And so he would have lived, and so he would have lived, loved by all of the land of uh, Shinanon. However, uh, Tenmei 3 AD 1783, the eruption of Mount Asama. Oh, fuck. Disaster struck and changed his fate forever. So I'm assuming his parents died in that one. Volcanic ash wiped out all the crops. Oh, and plagues and famine struck the whole Shinano province, leading thousands to starve to death in what would later be known as the Great Tenmei Famine. Mama, Mama, please, I'm so hungry. Mama, wake up. Wake up. Fuck. <sighs> Meme, but also sad. My power. My powers for the good of the weak. Taro Kichi, age 17. Leaves home. Waves. Oh, damn. Sad. Taro Kichi left Shinano. And ran like the wind. At 17 years old, Tarakichi arrived in Edo, of course. Urakaze Stable. Tarakichi chose to become a sumo wrestler to arrange to raise as much money for his hometown as he could. Come on, one more time. They're eating well in Edo. That's for damn sure. Nothing but carbs. Fuck, yo. Hope there's some guy named me in those buns. Good lord. Master Urakaze Edo Tournament Sumo Stable Master. Uh, whoa. That's a lot of white rice. I wish I could send that. I, I wish I could send those bags back home. Takich, you're next. Go at him with all your might. Uh, mm, I think I have to pass. What? If one out, out, oh wow! If I went all out, I'd just wind up destroying y'all. So, M motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Thought you could bullshit us? Did yeah? <laughs> you cracked me up. Oh, this guy. Okay, here we go. Let's go, you and me. So here he is. Ozeki. Of course, Ozeki, uh, Tanikaze, later the fourth, Yokozuna, you wouldn't have any problem with me, would you? Uh, you see, what? This is Ozeki, going out of his way to challenge you. Are you really going to insult uh, Tanikaze, uh, Zeki, like that? Ozeki, second highest ranking in the sumo directly below the Yokozuna. Oh, really? And then Zeki, honorific title given to the highest ranking... Rikishi. Okay, there we go. Look, uh, Tochiro Kichi, uh, if you don't beat me here and now, your ass is going back to the boonies, all right? But I, I can't do that. If you go flying and get hurt in my prom, got it? Fine by me. If you can do that, fuck it. Let's go, kid. He takes it full brunt. Huh? Young punks. <laughs> What's the matter? Is that everything you got? Then grab things and get out of here. Everyone's hungry. They need me. Sorry, but I ain't going home. Well, then. What you gonna do about it? And he actually... Damn! You bastard! Who's breaking who now? Say that again! I ain't down yet. Come at me, you little shit. What do you think, kiddo? That's sumo for you. Yeah, pretty powerful, eh? Sumo's fun. <laughs> Given history's strongest Ozeki a good time. You got guts, kid. Can I take him under my wing? Sure, I don't mind. But I thought you didn't want any pupils, right? Uh, oh, that was actually... That was, really? That was his fucking pupil. 
Well. Oh, those marks. Yeah, you can feel it. Yeah. Those marks. Well. I think I've just changed my mind. Shiko. Shuriyashi. Teppo. Trees, man. Damn. The boy tirelessly devoted himself to practicing the fundamentals of sumo. For him, not yet. One more time. Sumo was the first place in his life where he could go all out against his opponents. But he couldn't, though, because he was still held back because of the 100 seals thing. And so, Kansai 2 AD 1790. Okay. Ready? Mama. Good Lord. Here I go. Raiden Tamemon debuted under uh, the sponsorship of the Matsue uh, Domain. I think to say that, yes. And then this man tried to grab him. What the hell? He's so skinny. Skinny! He's so skinny, but I can't move. Flip and a toss. Oh, sh not even a toss. He's throwing him into the fucking ref. That's a red card. Red card. Uh, oh, what? Boo. <laughs> Woo! I've never seen that before. That was awesome, right? It. Ryan became a living legend. Damn. I think I might have just raised some kind of monster. <laughs> Ryan, headbutt. Ryan, toss. Ryan, palm slap. In a series of stunning consecutive wins, defeating his opponents with just one strike. Kya! Ryan, Sama. Uh oh. Attaboy, Ryan. The Thunderbolt of Shinano. Once called D. Darabochi. Now in Edo. Got money. Got rice for the fam in his hometown. Even a drawing after him, Sumo Yokozuna, your mom is real happy. No. In all of famine stricken Japan, he shone bright like a bolt of lightning. Damn. However, on the west side, Raiden, that peak did not last long. Right in, throws the salt. Woo! I've been waiting for this. More Kaz. Yeah! Huh? Mmm. Mmm. Fear. <gasps> Eek! What the hell are you? It's that uh Dadarabochi. Dadarabochi. The flag. Write it. Today's match. Why the hell do you throw it? You hear me? You what did what are you today? Was like spitting in the ground of the sumo. Oh, shit. Was like spitting on the god of sumo himself. I wonder if that god's watching right now. I wonder. Ha! <laughs> the god of sumo. Crying profusely. Master. Ever since I was little, my mom always told me to use my powers for the good of the weak. But. But. It seems like I've gone back to picking on them again. You. But this is all I can do to feed the folks back home. This is all I've got. Sumo's all I've there after. He wouldn't break his opponents. And so he wouldn't harm the weak. Raiden right right sealed away his most powerful moves. Teppo. Harite. Saba Ori. And, uh... 
Kanuki, some of that. Together, these became Raiden's Forbidden Four. But, even so, what a pain. Raiden continued to win and sent the money back to his home. Hometown. Um, uh, the highest ranking Ozeki, over a career spanning 21 years, had a record of 254 wins, 10 losses. He actually lost, holy frick. 14... Azukari, two Wake, and five Mushobu out of 285 bouts with a winning ratio of 0. .962. Okay, what the fuck is all that? <sighs> Translator notes. Azukari, Wake, and Musho Mushobu are three different types of draws in sumo. The first due to a too close to call bout. The second due to injury or exhaustion. And the third due to a lack of decision on the part of Re. None of these are counted in the winning ratio. What the fuck? The ten losses and two wake were all against low ranking uh Rikishi. In other words, there with in other words, there was some reason why he could not fight those opponents. For that reason, people called his virtual unbeatable. Uh, people called this virtually unbeatable contestant Peerless Rikishi. Huh. But no one knew that up until the moment the Peerless Rikishi ride in Tamwe left the ring for good, he can never go all out again, not even once. I'm sorry, Taro Kichi. Once you were fully grown, we just couldn't handle you at your best. Right. Oh, even this guy, too. He's still eating. What the fuck? Show him. Show him the real sumo that Raiden Tame Amon always wanted to show us. <laughs> it's sure been a while to let himself... Since I could wrestle without having to hold back. Man, the hell's up with you? You look like you're enjoying this. No. To let Sumo loose. Once Ryan decided upon that. Oh, fuck. No. The fucking... Stance. Oh, man's about to fucking activate the sumo stance. The band moves. It's time to show him what Truson was about. His body began to move quite naturally. Clap. Fuck. That shockwave. Is that? It's right at its entrance procession. Going your last resort, huh? Nice. Come out with everything you've got. <sighs> Dosukoi! Or I should say, Yoishio. Or, yeah, Yoisho. There you go. Yo oh, of course, all the Japanese people. Yoisho! The time for preparing was up. Now, with no holds barred, of all the sumo techniques available to him, the one which Raiden Tam, uh, Tame Amon chose was one of the sport's most fundamental and essential tepo. On the verge of launching it from a conspicuous stance. What the hell is this? What the fuck is that stance? Oh my god, his legs! Fucking buffalo. Yeah, fucking... Looking like moose. Looking like fucking moose. Oh, ew. What? Right in. With the complete control over his muscles, granted to him by his volun, diverted his energy. 
into a different sort of technique. Ew! Those are moose legs. What the? F I mean, moose don't have big legs, but you know what I mean. What the fuck? Like his leg is the equivalent mass of one moose. Into a different technique. Actual gum gum, dude. He converted the muscle from his legs to his fucking forearm and all of them. And thus, with extremely rapid shifts within his muscles. Placed all of his force into the heel of his palm. Huh? Let her rip! A single all destructive blow. All of the muscles into the heel. Yo, honestly, Ashra, you better dodge, yo. I don't give a fuck. What ton ton ta gu ta no no. Listen, Hindu's finest better dodge right now. ASAP. Cause this man is about to pop the fuck off in a big way. In a big, big way. This man did some fish man muscle karate and he's about to do some massive damage, yo. No, that was the wrong choice. That was the wrong choice. That was absolutely the wrong choice. No. No, sir. Hey, uh, Ashra might just take this L. Now you fucked up. Now you fucked up. Now you... Oh my God, he just blew, I, yeah, I'm sorry, Shiva, I said Ashra, Shiva. Dude, he just blew through his arm. Two of his arms just got blown the fuck off. The highest form of Teppo, known as Yata Garasu. Of oh, fucking course, Japan. Of course. Shiva, I don't know. Okay, yeah. Shiva is looking like he just took his L. Yeah. Oh, they changed it to fuck. Oh, of course they did. Of course they did. Yo, this man. Yo, Aries. Aries. You're supposed to be fucking studly. Dad, that was the wrong move, man. Resonance? Chapter 40. Right in Tommy Moon's absolutely wild blow. Has demolished the destroyer. He fucking controlled all of the muscles in his body and focused all that power into the heel of his fucking palm. He, he won! He finally beat him! L Lord Shiva! We, we did it, sister. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh. This man had the buffalo stance and everything. And I fucking was like... <sighs> yo, if he, if he starts doing sways, it's over, yo. It's over. Speed incoming. Lord Shiva! Papa! Darling, Lord Shiva, that's my husband, all right. What, what was that move? It blew away. It blew Shiva's arms clean off. Huh? If Shiva hadn't put up his guard, it would have smashed his head to bits for sure. Anyhow, the heel of that human's palm sent out such a powerful shockwave wave 
that it even held back s A human can do that? It's true, Shiva wouldn't die from that. But nonetheless, it seems to have taken a considerable, some considerable damage. Yeah, teeth, pff, shit. Shit. I can barely even stand. Keep it up, Raiden. Put that stupid guy in the, huh? Huh? No! Wait, don't tell me that Thrud's Voloon is actually breaking down because of the sheer power of this fucking man. Wait, really? No. What? No. What? Really? No. What's wrong with Raiden? Recoil. Recoil. His muscles moving at that speed. Places that have normal level of strain on Raiden. Okay, yeah, fair enough. His body can't handle it. And it's starting to break down. Thrud's muscle, uh, Mawashi, is barely holding Raiden's body together. It's a miracle he can even stand up right now. No, no way! R Raiden! He can't keep this up! Oh, fuck. Wait, wait, wait. This guy's trying to do something, man. His intestines have already been... His intestines are already taking a beating. The peerless Rikishi muscles are crying out in pain. Oh, fuck. Are you alright, Raiden? Oh, wait a minute! I knew it. Sumo's the best. Baby, damn, fuck! Just got to know a nigga. Fuck, yo, damn. Synchronicity? Baby. Third. <laughs> what the fuck? Holy shit, yo, that's wild. Baby. Third. More. Keep moving my muscles more. I know you can do it. What the hell? If I do that, your flesh, your guts, they'll be crushed to a pulp. I know, Third. But this ain't enough. More. More. At long, at last, at long last, I can go at this sumo that's let me down for so long with all I've got. I want to risk my body. No, my whole life on this. Because after all, I'm a Rikishi. <laughs> what is this brolic love, yo? Holy shit, yo. Yo, that's like Biscuit Kruger finding the one, and then he's about to fucking die. And she's like, no, I can't. You're the one. You're the one, sweetie. No, oh, sweetums. I love you, baby. You, you really are a dummy. But that's why you're the man I fell in love with. I'll go all the way, okay? Gotta San is a clapping of the... Oh, what else is this? Okay. Okay. Goto-san. Uh, Goto-san is a... Not clapping. Clipping. Okay. Uh, it's a clipping of Gochi... Gochi Soul Sama. Thank you. Used by Rikishi. Oh, okay. Thank you. Goto-san. Oh, the fucking sumo. The sumo. Oh, looks like you got a pretty good burden there, eh? Oh, 
he could fucking oh wait a minute yo the hindu gods don't look <laughs> don't look at us eyes up front fool indra rudra's watching Ah, he, he showed up. The Hindu gods. I've got my own too, huh? They believe in somebody as stupid and, and lazy as me. For all 1,116 of them, I can't lose here. Because no matter what, I'm the peak of Svarga. Welcome to the family, son. Phew. How about I push this past the limit? What the fuck is this man about to do right now? It's about to get dumb. Are we going to have our first draw? I wonder. Do, do draws exist in this competition? Does he have a seal too? What the fuck is happening here? Lil? Does everyone have a fucking muscle seal? What's going on here? Huh? Huh? What? Ugh. Wonder, wonder what's gonna happen now? Cause it's my first time seeing this too. What, what the hell is he? Look, look, look at, look at that. She was, Directly, what? Directly stimulating his Atman? His admin? And forcing his heart to be fat. Are you serious? Atman is a son, is a son crit word for meaning soul. The writer uses it here somewhat. L Wait a minute. Actually? Fucking doping. He's doing the gear too. Glah, glah. What, what in the Shiva's body is turning red as if it's burning up? It's written in the Vedas. Shiva. From purple to red. Gear two. When the time is fulfilled, Lord Shiva will dance. The Tan Va, uh, the Tan Dava, and bring about the destruction of the world. However, there is one. There is more to that legend. What the fuck is this? Holy shit! This power up. He built ha 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 the ring. He pulled the gear two move and has now become Portugas de Ace. Then Shiva will burn his own body, Sh Shiva, and recreate and, uh, and, uh, and recreate the world from its ashes. Wait, he has inner eyes that are opening now. What the fuck? This is called... Tanva, Tandava Karma. Kanji. Uh, Samsara war dance ashes. Let's dance till we burn up. <laughs> Guys like you are. And he continues the dance. A real pain. History's strongest Rikishi. St Sarva Varga's mightiest destroyer. <sighs> Raiden Tamemon. Shiva. Raiden and Shiva seem very much alike. Alike, indeed. Those two. In a strange coincidence, the man and God who had once stood at the peak of their representative societies had penetrated the deepest secrets of their martial arts at the same time. Isle. For the weak. For his comrades. For sumo. 
for Sparga. For his hometown. For his best friend. Isle. Win! Oh, that's a sec- These are- Wait a minute! These are sexy panels! These are some sexy fucking panels! The more one is burdened by others' emotions, the stronger he becomes. Oh, those are some dope ass fucking panels. Wait a minute, what? Wait a minute, huh? Nani? Nando? Wait. Fuck, I got the wrong chapter. Forty-two. Thank you. The heat wave and the shock wave. The fist for the tempo. So the flaming fist and the fucking tempo. They're going at it. They actually fucking full blower count each other with that shit. Do they even touch? Like, are they not even touching? Wait, Roger Whitebeard, are they not even touching? Huh? And then they go at it again. The fire. The impact. Oh, fuck. Right to this man's face. But a punch, a flaming fist to the gut. <laughs> Rebound. That really Shiva? No. It's like something else completely. A whole another level of strength. Just about go show that move. Just about goes to show that move. Uh, Tandava Karma is pretty fucking wild. No doubt, dude. He actually dodges that too. Shiva dodges that swipe. Oh, spinning flaming kick. No, I don't have King Omega on my list. I do not. King Omega, King Ashra. I read them at one point when I stopped reading them. It is what it is. A flaming kick. No, no, I'll, I was reading Kangan Ashra, and then I stopped reading it. Not necessarily drug, but I just didn't care for it, I suppose. Either way, so a flaming roundhouse kick, Shiro Kyo style, man controls the muscle. Another muscle shield, but now his fucking form is burnt. Oh, shit! Yo, it didn't just burn. The fuck? The, his arm just got charred and it crumbled. R Raiden's body's burning. No matter how much he tries to make himself with his muscles, those attacks from Shiva will char his flesh and burn it away. Yes, the longer this fight goes on, the more of his muscles Raiden will lose. So basically, the odds are against Raiden now. Are we sure, though? Because Shiva is probably giving his life force to do that shit. Phew! If Shiva keeps on the offensive like that, it'll be his win for sure. Doubt that. I'll be so certain. Huh? That move, she was ultimate screen technique. It seems... Okay. It seems he forcibly stimulates his own, uh... Atma. Causing it to combust. In this state, he, uh... In this state, will he not eventually burn out? But burn out! And moreover, that human still has... Oh, he even knows the name, yo. Uh, Yatagarasu. Yes. Quite literally, this is a war of their lives attrition. Fucking hell, yo. What is this? No! The muscle flex! Oh, shit, this man, yo. And it's forcing himself into his hand. Shiva, huh? Oh, this man's hand grew. He did a swipe and it skims Shiva's fucking abdomen. But in the process, his muscles started to break down. Oh. So he swipes, huff, huff. The kids back then, that's their primes? Taro, uh, Taro Kichidon. Not a misspelling. Just a dialect from, uh, just a dialect from form of San found in southern, southwestern Japan. Okay, there we go. And we have even his family, his old friends. 
Damn, Taro Kichi, mom, dad, sorry for always working you so hard. The dance, Shiva, elbow from behind. Gua, Shiva, flies in. Wait a minute, left hand, huh? Whoa, just a full wild man tackle. What the fuck is this? Whoa! Gr grr. Holy shit. He goes for a fucking toss after that wild man tackle. <laughs> Shiva rebounds with his own arm and then kicks him right in the face. Got a hard counter. But Ryan's still holding on there somehow. R right in. Zenki, he's done for. You morons. The hell's all that bitching and mourning for? Take a good look at Raiden. Raiden is still standing tall, even though there's a flurry of flaming fists coming his way. From the moment Raiden used Teppo, his hands and knees haven't touched the ring once. Oh, sumo. Sumo. Right now, all on his own, he's fighting with sumo itself on his back. We're here from him. For the peerless Rikishi, for the strongest man in the history of sumo. For our Raiden Tamemon. Come on. That's it. Raiden Zenki. Heh. I never knew. Gah! Their cheers could give me so much power. Flaming fist. Headbutts. You know, elves an elbow. And he headbutts the flaming elbow. Force back. Oh, shit. Shiva's fucking bottom left arm crumbles. Shiva's body crumbling. Shit, he's almost at his limit. Same could be said for that human. In other words, this fight will be decided by whoever breaks first. Shiva, 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 Shiva. You better not lose. No matter what, you better not lose. Who's that? Whoa. The legend. Rudra Tempest. Heh. <laughs> Rudra. Making batshit crazy demands like always. I <laughs> guess I got no choice. I prefer can't be helped. I prefer can't be helped. I definitely do. And then here we have, once again, this fucking clash of titans. The flaming wheel fist of Shiva. And the shockwave harite teppo bullshit. Where sumo... That is right in. Shiva knocked back. Everyone praying for their team to win. Kick. All that shit. The dance. Zeus having a... What the fuck are the Greeks doing? What are the Greeks doing? Ares is one thing, but why is Zeus going like fucking... Ho -ho, ho -ho, yeah! Hermes! Woo -hoo -hoo. What are the Gr Okay, the Greeks are weird, yo. The Greeks are fucking weird, dude. Yo, your Pantheon got fucking wiped out with two niggas. Greeks are doing some weird shit. Damn it, what the hell? What in the actual hell? I keep drawing and drawing, but... My brush won't stop moving. Fighting for Sumo, carrying the hopes of all Rikishi on his back. The peerless uh, Rikishi. Fighting for his comrades he once battled with. Carrying the pride of all 1,116 Hindu gods on his back. The Destroyer. Holy shit. Oddly drawn. But that is the times. With both men burdened by so many hopes and their souls ablaze, they were able to have... They were able to have to best... Wait, they were able to have to best fight of their lives. The best fight. However. All things come to an end. So who wins this fight? The moment finally arrived. Just one shot left, huh? Then I'll bet everything I've got on this. Here, here it comes. That move. <laughs> come in. At me. He's gonna take it head on? That's absurd. Do you really think he needs to intercept uh, it like that? Of course not. But, well, 
I suppose Shiva may. Fuck, dude. He has the buffalo stance. We got weird muscle movements happening. That's his back, yo. What the fuck? His hands are... Oh, my God, dude. And then... So, Shiva has, like, this flaming pose again, dancing. And this motherfucker actually has... A, what the fuck is this, dude? What is this? What is this stance? Fuck buffalo stance. Now, this is, Okay. The, right here is the moose stance. Here comes the moose stance. So, he goes for that fucking epic... He's going for it, and then Shiva, I'll take it. Yata Garasu, all of the force, all of the muscle, all of the muscle in that palm. Deva Loka, is that what that is? Sounds like a fucking Mosh Energy drink. You for real. <laughs> like the Devil Loka. Or the Luko. I mean, not Luko. Hold on, wait. Kanji, final act, flame dance. And then eight palm, eight spam crow, or three legged crow. Okay, so we have the Devil Loka, and then we have the Yata Garasu. Wait. I thought it was a kick. Is that actually a kick? That's a fist. Huh? Who? Huh? What? No, that is it. Oh my god. This man shoved his foot. Oh, that's... Oh, my God. Those are his toes. He shoved his foot into his whole fucking arm. And that up kick. And the fire. Burn. Sumo! What? Thanks. It was because of you I was able to do sumo to my heart's content. I gave it everything I had without a trace of regret. Through that balloon thing, call it off. I'm gonna miss you, but it's about time for us to part ways. Humph, the hell do you mean? I swore myself a long time ago that once I fell in love with the man, I'd stay with him for the rest of my life. Get the fuck out of here. Damn. How much better a lady can I get? Thank you. Sister Thrude. It's been a pleasure. You're one hell of a guy. Till the very end. Shinra actually... Wait a minute. It's not Shinra. Shinra. Shinra Kusakabe. Fuck. Shiva. Slice. You stood firm on your feet. The pleasure is all mine. Oh my god. Human.
No. Raiden Tamemon. With your... He fucking died standing. What is this Adam the First Man? Sh oh my goodness. With your help, this was the best match of my life. Crumble. The, the winner! Throod. She's going with him, yo. She's going with him. Of Ragnarok round five. Is Shiva. Shiva versus Raiden Tameemon. Match length one. Oh wow. 1116 gods. 11 minutes 16 seconds. Finishing move. Devaloka. Winner, Shiva. He, his back and his knees never hit the ground. To the very end, Sumo. And with a good woman, too. With a good fucking woman, too. Shiva get, I had a feeling he won this one, too. Shiva gets that dub. Struggle after struggle and turn around after turn around. And the gods finally rejoice. And there's a cow there too. At the end of a fierce clash, the one left standing is this man. The mighty destroyer of Savarga. Shiva! Lost four, three arms though. On the precipice. The Hindu gods. Holy fuck. Wow, Nippon fell. For the first time, for the first time, Nippon fell. Granted, they only have two fights, but they have more of them to come anyway. So it's like, fuck it, who cares? But that being said, wow. The Hindu gods, the Hindu pantheon, triumphant. Daddy, yeah, he's come back home. Shiva, though. Ares. He may have won, but he lost three arms doing so. On top of that, the ending was so close to call as it can be. If Raiden hadn't been so adamant about that sumo thing, I wonder what would have happened. The exact opposite. The exact opposite. If that human had fought with anything else, if that human had fought with anything goes that if that human had fought with anything goes out to the very end, no matter how unnatural Raiden's strength may be, he would have been no match for the heaven's greatest brawler, Shiva. If I might say that it was, oh, wow, it was that special technique. In other words, that sumo honed through a daunting amount of, dis of discipline that allowed the Rikishi Raiden Tameemon to drive Shiva that far to the wall. Raiden Zeki! Damn it! Shit! Shit! Stomp. <gasps> Fuck. Yokozunas. Showing their respect. Of course. No more... Okay, wait. No, no. The Nippon bias is still there. Because Nippon are the only active motherfuckers outside of the ring. So the Nippon bias is still there. Make, make no mistake. Until I see... Jack the Ripper or other cats do shit outside of the ring. We're not fucking jacking off Sasaki Kojiro or this fucking Shinsen Gumi kid. Well, are you serious? Come on, bro. Are we real? Yeah, but Jack didn't. Where, where was Jack doing the whole thing off screen? I didn't see Jack anywhere. Nope. Either way, we have the sumo stance. Boom. Yokozuna. The hell are you guys doing? Riding gave. Gryden gave it everything he had for the sumo he loved so much. If you're a Rikishi, sending him off with 
Tears. It's out of the question. Damn. We should grace the peerless Rikishi. Right in Tamemon's last Hanamachi with flowers of our own. A Hanamachi, literally flower path, is a walkway which Rikishi used to enter and exit the ring. As such, it's also used as an a euphemism for the one's retirement. Ah, oh, the sumo. Yeah, that's right. If we keep hanging our heads like this, Raiden Zeki won't rest in peace. Send him off with Shiko. Boom. Damn. It is said that the Rikishi's Shiko, Yoshoi, is like a funeral bell for the peerless, for the peerless Rikishi Raiden Tamemon. Damn, mom and dad. Their spirits. Echo throughout the halls of Valhalla for ages to come. Yoisho! <laughs> A good man always has good company. Uh, hey! Run! <clears throat> Shit! Shit! Shit, yo! Shiva, man, damn! Hey, run! Fucking oh damn! Run this again, I see, Chief. And whose fault is that, partner? Damn! I'm shocked he even smiled when he looks like a wreck. Ain't that how it always is? <laughs> Wait, just a fool, boy. It sure ain't easy looking at. Uh, it sure ain't easy looking after a cluss like him. Heh. <laughs> More like a brat. Huh? Look like uh, you look like you uh, took quite a beating, eh, Shiva? Fucking Greeks! Can the Greeks stop? Jesus, man! Let the Hindu pantheon breathe, bro. Like, let them have their moment. No, gotta show up because, you know, we Greeks gotta take the spotlight. Yep, that's right. We gotta take the spotlight. Look at us, we're Greek. Yeah, okay, we, oh, fuck, we got it, dude, damn. <laughs> Where's Kratos? Shut these boys down, again. Yeah, if I'm being real, it was pretty wild. No shit, you lost three arms. I was barely hanging in there. Hey, Gramps. Hmm? Humans are crazy good. <laughs> he wanted to destroy them before. Indeed. Fa, fa. They are quite strong. That much is an undeniable fact. Damn. Ger, Ger, Ger's been tiny. Uh, Ger, being tiny as you are, makes you real. Uh, makes you a real cutie, huh? But I always wanted to be a big and strong like you, Sister Throod. If you get as strong as me, all the men, uh, all the men will get scared of you and run away. But you did find one guy, Sister Throod. I swore myself long ago. Fucking this man. I swore myself a long time ago. That once I fell in love with a man, I'd stay with him for the rest of my life. She found happiness at the end of. Damn. Ger, sister Throod, sister Throod. Was happy, wasn't she? She was able to be with a man she loved for the rest of her life. She was happy, right? Wah, Ger. I know. I know we shouldn't cry since this is about saving humanity, but... But... When? Why? Why are you going so far to save humanity, Sister Hild? Again, remember what the first man, Adam, said. Is there any... Oh, fuck. Is there any man who needs a reason to protect what's dear to him? Is she ever going to actually use a Volund? I do wonder. Oh, fuck. S Sister Hill! 
Get her. Could you leave me alone for a little while? Sister. So with this, we have two wins and three losses. Damn. A cup for the Yokozuna. I know what I swore then. I know I swore that I would never be shaken until the very last moment. Fuck. But it seems I am much, much weaker than I believed. Even still, no matter the cost, I must save them. Actually, I'm just too. I forgot. Fuck. All right. Heave ho, heave ho. Phew. So that's where you are. I've been looking for you. What the fuck is this? The Yggdrasil tree? You know, Buddha Black Thunder. What the fuck is... Oh, Buddha again? Why is Buddha chilling with the fucking Yggdrasil, yo? Buddha. Humanity was impressive yet again in round five. Phew! Lovely breeze here. I never would have known there was a place like this in Valhalla. <laughs> this man activated his inner Dorian. <laughs> Candy. My, those of us gonna have one. Nope, fuck off, Zeus. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What the? Where did the candy go? Jeez, you cheapo. You could have at, you could have given me at least one. Fucking this motherfucker over here. You could have have just given me one. Oh well. So, what you want? Hmm. What did I want? Ah yes. Could you? Fight in round six. Oh fuck! Buddha, 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 Buddha. I was really going to save your turn for much later, but I want you to go next, Zeus Chan. Why do you want to destroy humanity so much? Because I don't like losing. That's why. As long as we fight, we win. Yo, the scar that Adam left him. Oh, shit. Such are the gods. <laughs> Buddha, nice. I like your spirit. So, how about it? KK, hug Zeus. Have fun, all right? Is there any man who needs a reason to protect? Okay, damn. Gare. Oh, fuck. Okay. And at four. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I'm under here. Because I want to see who, who, who's, who Buddha's going to fight. But I'm guessing that Buddha's going to probably, probably get the W. Honestly. Honest to God. And then, unless, unless it's a Japanese guy. If it's the fucking kid, then Buddha's losing. Because Japan, because Shinsengumi, because we have to wake that shit. If it's a non-Japanese person, God's in back to back. Yeah. The, uh, the fate of the whole human race is on Sister Hill's shoulders. I need to help Sister Hill any way I can. Oh, the sickbay should be somewhere around here. Oh, there it is. I need some bandages for Sister Hill's injuries. Huh? Occupied. One and two. Where could I find some? Oh, this one's open. Is someone... Youch! That son of a bitch Buddha! Oh? Ow, ow. Watch it, Benzai. I told you, that shit hurts. They must be from the seven lucky gods. Take it easy, man. Got no choice. All the doctors and nurses are busy with other patients. Fuck. Buddha, you fucking moron. Next time I see you, I'm gonna smash you into so many bits there won't be any relics for them monks to collect. Phew. 
you're gonna get yourself killed, man. He's one scary dude. You even pulled a gun on him, and he treated you like you were a kid. Try getting even with him, and you're gonna get your ass kicked. Huh? No need to worry. Next time, he pushes his luck. It'll be the death penalty with zero. 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 What the heck is he talking about? What are you doing? Oh, shit. Got caught. Bisha Monten, the god of war. Huh? He oi hoi hoi. Eavesdropping, are you? Not on our watch. Yeah! Bisha Monten sama. No, 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 nothing. I'm just here to get some some bandages. Yowch. Owie. Huh? I'm screwed. Huh? So, 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 someone help me. You, you're that kid Valkyrie, aren't you? Eep. Student on others. A nice hobby to have, eh? Too close. So what? Uh, so what you're doing is slithering around, slithering around like that. Fess up. <laughs> For your ghetto, Ebison piss. What the fuck is this dialect? More pissed. Eh, girly? Eek! He's super mad. He's gonna kill me. Get the fuck out of here. The violence of grief or joy. Their own... Enactors? I guess? With themselves... Within themselves, destroy. I see a fucking teacup. I see shoes. Who the hell are you? And what you... And what... Wait, who the hell are you? And what was about cash and... Cash clerk? What the fuck is this, yo? Why? That was Shakespeare. From Hamlet. Do you know of him? Y your... The aroma of Darjeeling is like the, appro the aphrodisiac for the soul. Fucking this madman. Would you care for some black tea, sir? As a gentleman would. Jack the Ripper? <laughs> He's JoJo's. He's actually JoJo's, dude. Look at him. It okay, Jack the Ripper making his fucking move. Finally. Holy fuck. Hey, yo. Look at this motherfucker right here. My god. A <laughs> deal. Ho, ho. Tough shit, pal. I only drink green tea. Yeah. Black tea, green tea? We have a problem. Ibisu, stand down. I will not tolerate wanton killing. We're leaving. Yo, this motherfucker Bisha Monten is active as fuck off screen. Shh. Look at that smug face. Makes him sick. Now, now, now. Hey, girly, you better not forget this. You tell anyone about what you heard, and you die. Ah, I thought they were going to kill me. Those seven, they're more like the unlucky gods than the lucky gods. Seven. Did you say seven, young lady? Uh, y yeah, I'm pretty sure. They're called the second lucky. They're called the seven lucky gods in Japan. Why? Does it matter? Hmm. Wait a minute. Seven? No. Someone is playing cheeky. Is it six? Is it five? Or is it eight? Or is it nine? Why? Does that matter? Hmm. Assumptions is mortal's chiefest enemies, huh? Uh, pardon me. Would you fancy a cup of young lady? As a gentleman would. A reference to the line security in mortal's chiefest enemy from Shakespeare's Macbeth. The guy that be Hercules. Seeing brother Hercules murdered by that monster. Are you happy now, sister? You're covered you're covered with scars. Oh. <laughs> Quite garish, aren't they? I apologize if I startled you. But fret not. 
they are not as painful as they seem. I love. N no. Humans. If you're hurt, you should get some rest. Oh, yeah. Trying to emulate Hercules right here. Look at Gare. What the fuck? And um, I'm kind of in a hurry, too. T, no thank you. Bye-bye. Runs away. What a shame. Oh, another Japanese gate? Oh. No, wait, no, no, wait. Hold on. Okay, let, let's see here. Let's see what's going on right now. With the gods at three wins and humanity at two, Thor, Zeus, Poseidon, Hercules, Shiva, Lubu, Adam, Psychic Kojiro, Jack Ripper, Raiden, Tamemon. After seven million years, mankind has taken one step closer to its end. Fuck. Now get ready for Ragnarok round six. Oh, it got dark. All right, who's next? Could there be any greater irony? Giving humanity its requiem for the next fighter for the gods. Long ago. Oh, fuck. Here come. Here come. Yo, you thought that it was going to be bad when, like, when fucking Shiva came in. And the Hindus were like, oh. Here come the Buddhist. Like, oh, fucking no way, dude. He helped those foolish humans with their worldly desires and showed them the path through the darkness. Here is that man. This man abandoning royalty, abandoning family, abandoning worldly desire, abandoning six emotions, trotting on the untrodden. Low? Like a thorn, uh, like the horn of the rhinoceros. He walked all alone. Yep. Could that be? Oh, is that person? Oh, thank you. Praise be. Long ago in a distant land, I, Aku, the shape-shifting master of darkness, unleash an unspeakable evil. But a foolish samurai warrior. So who is the foolish samurai warrior? Let's see here, boys. And just... And so, in just six years, the man attained enlightenment, born alone, living alone, and fighting alone. Oh, they're like, wait a minute. What? Oh, yeah. These actually, yeah, no, they know. It's that God from before. Throughout heaven and earth, I alone am the honored one. Throughout heaven and earth, I alone am the... Oh, my God. Jesus. Oh, shit. This is Buddha, am I? I alone am the mighty one. Fuck. Only I am strong. Entering this world as the prince of the Shakya... Shakya... There you go. Of the Shakya. And departing from it as the enlightened one. Out of respect for the strongest, proliferate. Prolif. Prol. Fucking. I can't. Prolif. Proliferate. Son in. I can't say it. Doesn't matter. Son in history. The humans call him. The Buddha. Oh, fuck. I can't say the name. I'm trying to, but it's not possible. My NA brain's like, nah, it's not happening, son. The gods represented for round six, Buddha. The Buddha. The thing is that Buddha is making the claim that he's the strongest person right now. That's Buddha's claim. Buddha's claim is like, I'm the best. He's the best? Around. No one can ever bring him back. He's the best. But we're not done yet. What, what the hell? Buddha Sama, our enemy. <laughs> Look at those humans. That's right. That's a good despair. Watch him weep. Step, step, step. Huh? What? What's going on? Huh? Hey, we haven't seen Aphrodite in a fucking minute, yo. What? Where's he walking to? 
There it is. Buddha's free time. He's going to pay tribute to those sobbing wrecks of humans. Is he? Let's see here. Whoa, 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 wait. Uh, that's the wrong way. That's going too far, too far. Hmm? Sorry, I got to toss this. What? Shoot up gum? And I'm buying this. Huh? Uh, testing, testing. Whoa there. The hell's he doing? Um, huh. I'm fighting for humanity. So, uh, thanks. Hamdahl. Just got thrown into a fucking portal in the middle of the universe. What? Yo, the Buddhist. The gods. Hermes. Just like, what the fuck just happened? What? Aphrodite. What? Yo, oh, Loki's so pissed. Like, this motherfucker. Zeus, motherfucker. <laughs> of course, the Japanese. Of course. Like, <laughs> get what? Uh, yeah, I'm fucking humanity, so, nah, I'm, I'm yeah, wrong side? No, no, no. This is the right side, so fuck the gods, yeah. Huh? The hell was no way. You gotta be shitting me. You fucking with us? The hell are you saying? Aren't you a god? Take that back. You disgrace the gods. You. Fucking traitor. Screech! He actually cracked the ga- Only, only Buddha could have cracked the Gallahorn. Oh, shit. Whatever it's called. And then we have a chicken. Gods. My Gallahorn! No way! Fuck you! Don't push your luck, you little. Shut up. Mm, he stands alone. He is the strongest. He is the one. God damn. Buddha is making claims. Where's fucking Yahweh? Like, yo, nigga, nah, man. What the fuck? Yo, what's going on right now? Hold up. If the gods won't save them, I will. And if any god gets in my way, yo. I'll kill them. Buddha! Whoa! He's lethal! Hey, yo. Hey, yo, what's the Buddhist text called? I'm about to read this shit ASAP. Holy shit. It is he. It is I. I am myself. I stand alone. I am the strongest. Are you fucking kidding me? Shut up. Fuck you, gods. All right. You can't say I will. I mean, he was human, and he became a god. Like Hercules, as far as I understand. Look at this shit, dude. Born alone, living alone, and fighting alone. Throughout heaven and earth, I alone am the honored one. Throughout heaven and earth, I alone am the mighty one. Only I am strong. Fucking Jesus, dude. Entering this world as prince of the Sha... Kia and departed from this world as the enlightened one. Out of respect for the strongest, pro, pro, I might fuck that word again. Uh, pro Philgate son in history, the humans call him the Buddha. <laughs> Represent God representative. Cross that shit out. Humanity's representative. Let's go. Holy shit, that is a fucking claim. This man is like has the strongest Shanks vibes ever. The strongest Shanks vibes ever. Throughout, look, look, look at this shit, dude. Damn. Born alone, living alone, and fighting alone. Throughout heaven and earth, I alone am the honored one. Throughout heaven and earth, I alone am the mighty one. Only I 
M Storm. Got the fuck, dude. Damn. Oh my goodness. Hey, Buddha. Hey, we'll be. Oh. I'm ending it here. I I want to see who fights Buddha now. I'm ending it here. This just threw a monkey wrench into so many people's plans. What the fuck is gonna? I mean, unless it's gonna be a human that fights for the gods. Unless there's going to be a human that's going to fight for the gods. Which I don't think is going to happen. One more chapter? Nah, 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 nah. Let's be smart here. I'm going to end off on that note. Yo, Aphrodite is shot. I mean, Loki was, like, Loki was actually one, one, one of the ones who won the fight, too. On the list. So maybe Loki actually fights fucking Buddha. Because, you know, like, fucking, that was going to be... That was gonna be the fight in the first place. Like, Loki, yeah, fuck yeah. But Hermes and fucking Ares, like, what the fuck just happened? Wait a minute. The chickens have come home to roost. Like, what? And these two are laughing. Brunhill, surprised, I think. Actually, I'm not too sure. But Garrett is definitely surprised. Absolutely. And he actually destroys the fucking Gallivore, Yeah. <laughs> Hey, yo, he destroyed one of the most iconic items in all of myth. <clears throat> like, fuck this shit. Only Buddha can do that. Only Buddha is allowed to do that. Only him. Only him. Yeah, I'm gonna end it right here. That was absolutely insane. That was great. That was a great fucking... Okay, all right. So. This fight, I think, is the last fight I just got. I think is a better fight than Lubu versus Thor. Yeah. 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 Okay. Cool. So I'm gonna. Even, so right now, the best fights right now are. Out of the five fights so far, number one, Jack the Ripper versus Hercules. Number two, Adam the First Man versus Zeus. Number three, this fight. Rikishi, uh, Tame, um, uh, I can't say his name, dude. Tame Amon versus Shiva. Number four, Lubu versus Thor. And number five, Sasaki Kojiro versus Poseidon. And that is the fight. And that is today's stream. That's today's read through. So on YouTube, much love for you guys. I appreciate you guys coming through. No doubt about that. Uh, on other read through, uh, nine times soon, dog. Because we have more things to read, honestly. Uh, but, I wanna, but we're making the process to catch up all three. We have the retro for like this week, hopefully, probably. We're going to do a stream again on. Uh, on Friday for Soul Leveling, probably, or Kingdom, one of those two. And then we'll stream again on Saturday. But anime tonight, I'm going to push that back for Thursday because I do want to get some videos for tonight and tomorrow. So I do want to do that for YouTube. But So we're going to push back anime tonight for Thursday, tomorrow, okay? So on YouTube, great shit overall. Love you guys. On YouTube, if you can, before you leave, make sure to give your video a like. That'd be great as well. Give a thumbs up on YouTube. Love you guys. Peace the fuck out. And we'll be back out again for Dragon Rock later this month. Later this month. All right. I'm not going to waste any time. Later this month, we'll get to another fight of Wreck Rock. Dragon. We'll see what's up. Because I want to absolutely see the man who stands above all. Apparently, the entity that stands above all, Buddha. All right. So, yeah, I'm feeling much better. I'm feeling much better. So, I can do, I, I can do stuff now, which is great. So, on that note, guys, YouTube, peace the fuck out. Have a nice one. And that is the YouTube.